Him, hoi, hello. Hello, chat room. Hello, crew. Welcome aboard. How are you all doing this fine? Uh, what day is it? I'm sorry, I'm sick. You can probably hear me a little stuffed up, but I think I sound okay. I'm just not feeling very good. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> when I was in class, we were doing presentations. And um, the attendance sheet was going around. This was this was like a week ago. I should have maybe started off with that. Oh, like a week ago, we were doing presentations, and the sign up sheet, or the attendance sheet, was going around. And um, I sign it, of course. I'm there. I sign it. And then someone gives a presentation, and they're losing their voice. And I realized that I had held that very pen, and I've already touched my face like ten times. I was like, oh shit, it's all over for me, I'm getting sick. Just why why didn't they postpone? Why did they come to class? They were like, they were whispering the presentation because their throat was so fricked up. It was terrible. And now I'm sick and I blame them. My blood is on their hands. <laughs> if you're that sick, stay home, please. I'm begging you, please. I don't want it. Don't touch the attendance pen. Don't touch me. Don't go near me. <laughs> <laughs> stay, stay away. Oh, hi. Hello. Hi, Spagoon. Hi, Gron. Hi, Charles. Hi, Spinny. Hi, KJ. Hi, Effie. Hi, Primolo. Hello. Hi, Pokey. Hi, Hoy. Hi, Frank. Oh, boy. The last tier list she did totally wasn't wrong. What are you talking about? Huh? Anyways. Hi. Hello. I'm the Glinkus here on the tier list. Are you? I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> how dare they make you sick? I know, how dare. I mean, they weren't the only one who was coughing. But they certainly sounded the sickest. <laughs> Captain, I think you doubled my cats. How many did you post? I don't think I did. They could just be similar looking cats. You might have a similar cat. In appearance to some of the other chatters cats. We do have a lot of cats on this list. She opening her third eye to organize our pets. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna peer into their souls and I will find them. 10 out of 10. That's why we're doing it this way, chat. That's what everyone's been all every VTuber ever has done a chatter pet tier list. And like, what are you gonna say about a pet? Like, yeah, it's adorable. It's a 10 out of 10. All pets are good boys. Like they're all beautiful creatures. And we do not deserve them. We all know this. Do I need an anime woman to tell me this? No, I need an anime woman to tell me whether mine's a Scringus or a Glingus. Of course. I don't care that Autumn's a 10 out of 10. I know she is. <laughs> so welcome. Welcome to the Inscrutable Pet Tier List. That's what we'll be doing today. Complaining about your donut tier list? You're just complaining because Tim Horton's honey crullers are bottom barrel. In fact, I think they scrape them off the bottom of the barrel. They're so covered in goop. I'm peeling potatoes and we'll be able to type. That's okay. Do your do your thing. That's a okay. I don't take attendance. I'm not about to pass down around the sickness pen so you all get sick as well. Posted to them, I'm pretty sure it's doubled. Why'd you do that? <laughs> You're confusing me. I'm doing them twice and they might get different tiers. I'm pretending they're different animals. I'm not sorting through them again. <laughs> yeah, if you decide to post your pets during the stream, um, be clear that it's the same cat. Be clear that it's the same pet. Um, say this is my pet biscuit and here's four photos of her. So just something like that. Just be clear. Otherwise, I'm gonna be like, this might be a different creature. Hamster brain can hold so many cats. Slaps roof of skull. Ow! Don't, don't do that. That hurts. I spotted my critters. Yeah, you might see your critters on here. This list, by the way, is able to add new critters. So if anyone joins and you're like, oh shoot, I forgot the inscrutable pet tier list was today. But I'm here now. Here's a picture of my cat. Just post in the Discord in the in the right section. The mods will direct you. The cat list. Yeah, there's a lot of cats. There's a all my all my chatters have cats. There's a couple dogs in there, and there's even some um, alternative pets. I dubbed them. 
See the silly orange man? Yeah, you, you see my my personal silly orange man. I did add Winston to the list. I think he's deserving of a tear for sure. I thought honestly you're talking about the um my old tier list of which Toho's I would lick. Which um how do I how do I unfull screen? Uh bear with me, I am not in a lucid state right now. Um Yeah, this one. <laughs> wow, someone someone found it and thought it was funny. I don't know why I did save the pictures, but yeah. Anyways, this is the inscrutable pets tier list. There we go. How do a little presentation mode? Presentation mode. What am I doing? If anyone wants to add their pet to the tier list, direct them to the right channel, like a traffic conductor. That's it, mods. Don't you're just you're doing what you normally do. Nothing unusual. Shout out to the chatter who just submitted pictures of cool bugs they found outside. Those were honestly some of my favorite pet pictures I've ever seen. They're so good. You guys probably have spotted them. Oh no, they're not there right now. Hold on, let me let me add them back. <clears throat> mm -mm. Yeah, they're not. I mean, they are in the tier list, but they're not. When I exited out of it, they disappeared, but I have them right here. Okay, they're back. Eh, 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 eh. You like overlapping music? Me too. Create some new harmonies. I hope you'll be soothed and cared by these glorious, cute pets. I already feel better. <laughs> Just looking at them. Oh, hey, boy, hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> I don't remember this. Maybe, maybe, um, I don't know, maybe you weren't there? A lot of you, though, were, I'm pretty sure, there. But yeah, thank you, everyone who submitted your pets to the inscru- the, the, the... Where am I? Who are you people? Why am I- why are there bugs? I'm just playing. I- I did have a bit of a brain lapse there for a second though. I did forget what I was trying to say. <laughs> Thank you for submitting your pets to the inscrunkleable pet to list. <laughs> I will now proceed to give them tears all on their own because each pet is unique and beautiful. Just like their unique and beautiful owners. You ever see pictures of people and their pets? Like those pictures of people who look like their pets, or I guess their pets kind of look like them. I like those. I like to imagine that each chatter's pet reflects them as well. And reflects their own appearances. So like if you submitted a bug, you, to me, you, you look a little bit like a bug, but in a good way. In a good way, you know? I definitely don't look like Autumn though. My cat is a fluff ball. I'm the opposite. Bug as pet. I am- I'm including bugs as pets and here's why. My- my first ever, quote unquote, first ever pet, because it really is just a bug I stole from nature, was in fact a grasshopper I named Hoppy. I had a pet grasshopper when I was five called Hoppy. And I kept them in a box and I would give them fresh grass every, like, hour because I was obsessed. Little did I realize that grasshoppers don't live very long. So, I cried so hard when Hoppy passed away. So they're pets. They're pets to me. I've also had a giant land snail as a pet when I was younger. Bugs are, in fact, pets. I'll accept anything, really. You can submit your pet rocks if you want. <laughs> Remember, the Glebe Schmunkle Axis is a fluctuating spectrum. No such category could encompass all pets and their varying moods. Exactly. Exactly. Can we add mods to the list? I don't think my mods would appreciate me referring to them as my pets. <laughs> anything? Well, not anything. Don't don't put a picture of your butt in there with some googly eyes on it and be like, hee hee, that's my pet. 
Like, you know, you, you guys are... I'm sure you know the difference. Anything you keep as a pet. Years ago, I saw a biker dude with full body tattoos walking a tiny mop of a dog. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. I love... I love... Um, I love uh, men who are secure in their masculinity and not afraid to have tiny dogs. I love that stuff. <laughs> Discord kittens? Well then, everyone here would be submitted to the tier list and the tier list would get too long and I think I'd run out of words for all of you, so the crew can just be the crew. Alright, you're under the crew tier. Tiny dogs are the best. I'd never own a tiny dog, but I certainly like looking at them. I think they look real funny. I just went on a dog right now. I don't... You see? I want to sleep in. And I want to not go outside as like little as possible. As much as possible. As much as possible. Simply. Like, I, I would be the kind of eccentric person to try to walk my cat. <clears throat> okay, I apologize if I keep clearing my throat. It is a little scrungly. Um, I'll try to mute if I go into any, any sort of coughing fits, but we haven't gotten there yet. Can we add ourselves to list if we go nya? Then I'd have to add every single person here because even the lurkers come out of the woodworks and start meowing. If we do that, this tier list is going to get way too long and I don't want to be here forever. As much as I'd love to keep looking at pets and chatters for the rest of my life, I also want to maybe eventually go eat supper. <laughs> okay. So, in no particular order, I have screenshotted all the pets in the Discord. Um, mods, let me know if any more, is, any more have, have been... Oh, oh my goodness gracious. Mods, let me know if any more get added to the thread, and then I will screenshot them as well. Again, I apologize. I'm pretty out of it today. She's considering it. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll do a chatter tier list. Although, I'd be scared of hurting feelings. No, I want it to be the Glebe. I can't believe this other chatter got into the Glebe tier and not me. I, I, I'm not a Dongus. I could see someone getting upset over that. There's a new animal. Ugh. New animal just dropped. Hold on, hold on. I gotta, I gotta take a screenshot. Holy shit, that's a fat squirrel. Oh my goodness gracious. Hold on. All right, let's add this to the list, baby. That's a fat squirrel chomping on a fat nut. Wow. Screenshot that for later. Oh yeah, and also, also add it to the, add it to the tier list. Mm. I don't know if it's gonna pop up with my files or not, so... Add it to the list! <laughs> it will be a single tier destroy. <laughs> My chatters, yeah, one tier. We could add in something that like symbolizes chat between the destroy tier. Like I, I don't know. You guys would feel so left out of the pet tier list. This is for pets. It's not for you guys. That squirrel is definitely making it out of winter for sure. Okay, I'm gonna be streaming Discord. Um, don't post anything heinous, please, and thank you. Oh, a new new pet just dropped as well. A creature. Screenshot that. Put that in the tier list. Oh yeah. Heck yeah. Very cute. Yeah, very, very cute. Another friend was posted. We're on friend watch right now. Okay. I'm starting at the top here. Mm -mm -mm. 
Okay. There we go. So yeah, this is the Insecurable Pet Tier List thread. This is what I'm working on. I have um, headshots of each pet that was posted. And also we have some, what I, what I would call um, observation images. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Observation images. So that we can truly observe and get a feeling for what each individual pet should be categorized as. Yeah, hi, welcome. Because each pet is unique. Because we got, we got like a billion black cats here, but none of them. Although sometimes from a distance, they look like different chatters posting the same cat. They are all very different. Light mode? I have dyslexia! I need to use light mode! I can't flip and read gray on... Uh, white on gray text. If you're making fun of light mode right now, you're making fun of my disability. Let it be known. <laughs> so, bet you feel real bad now, don't you? I was tempted to post my family's Pomeranian, but she passed away, so it's bittersweet. Oh, Charles. If you want to post, I will give her a tear of honor, but also I understand if that would be too difficult. Just know that I acknowledge your Pomeranian was a beautiful soul. I love Pomeranians so much. They're so fluffy. The, the pet star I used to volunteer at had a Pomeranian called Wallace, who it was only there for like a week because he immediately got adopted. But he was so freaking cute. I, I wanted to adopt him so bad, but alas, I was a teenager. <laughs> a teenager who could not take care of a dog. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Smile. You're posting the blind emoji? That's rude. That's so freaking rude. Anyways, you know what? I'm about to I'm about to screenshot you in particular. Gron. Bay, I'm about to put you both in the, the naughty corner tier. Yeah, bums are so cute. About to put all of chat in the naughty corner, actually. I don't think you've earned a place of honor on this tier list. Okay, first, first Gunkle to be posted is one of my mod's cats. We see her often. This is Stella. By the way, if you post your pet, have your name, like, post it, post it with the pet name. Otherwise, I'm just going to call it a descriptor. But check out this, this cat. Oh my goodness. That's such a good picture. That's so cute. Um, yes, that is a cat. Cat inspector here. I'm here to tell you that- Wait, wait. This might not be a cat. This is less of a cat and more of a creature. It it's vaguely cat-shaped until I saw this image. And this one here- th th This is a goblino right here. This- This here is a goblino. Looks very chill. I like the whole of chat just going, mm, yes, that is a cat. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> Alright, I'm adding that as a tier. Uh, let me just, how do I do this again? Yeah. Add row. Let's go back to the tier list here. Okay, I'm gonna call this one El Goblino. Which means the goblin. And... Bloop! Right there. <laughs> Next up we have another black cat. This is Nugget's cat. Um, I forget his name. I'm just gonna call him Little Guy because you keep referring to him as Little Guy. There he is. <laughs> the man. By the way, these are not the same cat. Although, like this one. And like this one. This looks like it could be the same cat. But this is not the same cat, I don't think. So cute. See, we already know each pet is a 10 out of 10. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's so many bottles of shampoo. How many do you... No, I'm getting distracted. I'm getting distracted. We only focus on the pets. <laughs> I 
that's a great photo. I love the angle. It feels very powerful. Very dominant. That's a good photo. My favorite photos I've realized of my cat are just the blurriest ones I could possibly take. I have one where she was like mid lick, so her mouth is open and it looks like she's screaming. Like, ah. Uh. <laughs> why are those chatters sharing a cat? Yeah, why do you both have the same cat? Or is it? 90% of the sh shampoo bottles are empty, just... Why don't you? I don't know, why don't you recycle them? Why are they still there? It's missing up the feng shui of the bathroom, just having all these 90% empty shampoo bottles. It's not my business, it's not my business! It's not my business. Also, I didn't realize that these two were different cats. Even though you differentiated them and said my grandparents little guy. I'm glad to see that it runs in the family having a black cat. This one's fluffier. <gasps> so cute. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. I, I'm, I gotta give this, I gotta give Nugget's cat a tear first before I move on. Just looking at pets going, I have to keep looking. There's so many cute ones. Not the same. Well, the more you insist that it's not the same cat, the more I go, maybe it is the same cat. Mortal Kombat, finish them. The bottles, yeah, just finish them. I'm kind of guilty of doing that, but only with bagels. Like, um, I'll get a bag of bread or bagels, and then I'll go down to, like, the last slice, and I'll get a new one, and then I'll start using bread from the new bag instead of the old one and I'm like just finish it just finish the last one there's no there's no reason to ignore it there's nothing wrong with it but I think the fact that I see that there's just one piece of bread left or one bagel left I'm like that's there's something weird with that one there's a reason nobody wanted to eat it and now I don't want to eat it brains are funny okay let's see uh I recognize this picture this picture, this cat, I already have a tear for this because to me, this cat is a glarnkle. I hope you'll agree with my opinion, but it is certainly a glarnkle. And I'm just gonna add in your grandparents' cat. Put it in the cat folder, add it to the cat folder. Yes, the collection grows. My collection of cats is looking quite astounding. This little creature here, this little fella hiding in the corner, like, th this is also a little bit of a goblino. But, not quite. Not quite. More of a... Um, more of a... Hmm. Hmm. I'm, g I'm getting it's a bit of a, a frongus. I'm gonna have to add in a new tier for that one. Add row. Oh, hello, Grim. Him holy. Yeah, we're we're looking at chatters, cats, and dogs, and bugs, <laughs> and rodents, and I'm making a tier list for them. Wait, what did I say this cat was? I've forgotten immediately. Oh my goodness. Does anyone remember what I called it? Maybe it wasn't meant to be called that, if I'm forgetting. A frongus. A frongus. A frongus, okay. This is a frongus. <laughs> She's making up words again, chat. Like you, so you're implying that Flimp, Scrungus, Glarnkle, Dongus, Schmunkle, and El Goblino were already words to begin with? And just now, as soon as I get to Frongus, suddenly I'm making up words? If you think about it, all words are made up. Why do we have to adhere to the rule of language? It's all made up anyway. A Frongus. 
<gasps> a frongus. Yeah, L is a word. Goblino? I'm pretty sure it's not actually Spanish. I think it's just... <laughs> sounds like it's Spanish. It's like when, um, well, like when Pepe Le Pew in, in the, the Roadrunner cartoon would speak French and it was just like, la everything. Yeah. Like you say la, la table and suddenly you speak in French. Let's see. Next up was... Oi. Two potatoes. <laughs> There's a third one, apparently, um... But only two in this photo. Yeah, I did screenshot these two individually. Thankfully. So we have to come up with two names now. But in a way, I feel like... This picture is so... They look like they really get along really well. I wish my cats got along that well. Oh shit, I feel how they look. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the- I'm the yawner right there. I mean, that example is kind of wrong because French is not a valid language. Wow! Okay, just like, uh, disregard half of the Canadian constitution, why don't you? Lily hates pictures taken, so I don't have many pictures of her. That's interesting. That's interesting that your cat even knows what a camera is. Like, whenever I'm handling a camera, my cat is staring at the camera because... It's not- it's not because she knows it's a camera, it's because I'm touching it and she's like, What do you have there? And she becomes very interested in it. She's grumpy. She's a grumpy smart cat. That's a- that's a combination for never getting- never getting a good picture. I'm sorry to say, but Canada was a nation that was founded in tandem with the English and the French. Get over it, chat. Get over it. Yeah, there's French signs because, uh, believe it or not, there's French people. What do you have there? Can I eat it? My cat does that. She will actually try to chomp on the corner of my phone too, and I have to be like, no, don't... I- I once- I once watched a video of someone's cat who was like nuzzling their laptop corner and the cat just suddenly chomps on the corner of the laptop and it shatters the screen. And ever since then, I just- I don't trust pets around electronics, especially cats. I'm like, what if- what if their face rubs turn into them suddenly biting it? New dog just dropped? Oh my goodness. Holy moly. Let me let me get a screenshot of that bozo. That's a good dog. Oh, you dog is such beautiful fur. Looks very brushied. Okay, I got the I got the screenshot as you probably heard. Let me just add them in here. Whoop. Okay. We need names, people. If the French knew at the time that the British monarch would become head of state of Canada, they would have thought twice about it. Oh yeah, no, they've been thinking twice about it since the, um, since the Charter of Rights was created. <laughs> Quebec has wanted to leave for quite a long time. And when you think about it, how much the French and English just do not like each other. It's crazy how Canada was even created in the first place. And like, it took us up until the 80s or maybe it was late 70s to not have to go through Britain to change our laws. 
Like, Canada still had to ask Papa Britain, like, is this okay if we do this? That's crazy to me. Anyways, we got autonomy now. <laughs> Are you back setting back seeing the pet tier list? Frank? Sorry and him holy hello. I didn't know it was possible. Canada is cute and well behaved. <laughs> Unlike that stupid hamster that lives in there. How you doing? Hello, him hoy. I'm raiding cats! Okay, the one that looks like a marshmallow. Um, I want to call... I want to call it like a... Hmm. I was thinking like a, a, a grumpulous. But like, it, it's not quite... How I feel about it, you know? Why is there a channel linking England to France, but not one to Holland or Norway? That's a good question. Perhaps, um, perhaps a uh, civilian engineer can answer that for you? He's a bastard? Okay. Then he's gonna be a- this is a glumbulous. Add row below. Make it purple. I misspelled Glumbulus. Maybe it should be a Glumbulus. No, nah, Glumbulus. Okay, um, your pet is... Right... Here. Found the bastard. There we go. I think you could describe most cats as, he's a bastard. Yeah, I guess that really depends on the cat. I must have been pretty lucky, because the only cat I describe as a bastard in this household is Winston, and he's not a bastard out, out of any sort of malicious intent. He's a bastard just because he makes me sneeze, and that that's not his fault. <laughs> that's not his fault. Chia Tunnel? The Channel? No, they, didn't, they did not name the Channel after me. I didn't even exist when the Channel was created. Yolenka wants a smooch. Mwah! Extra cat hair for you. Waiter, waiter, another cup of of cat hair I could I could chug down. Okay, this one here, the gray one, the the yonert. In fact, that is what it's going to be called. Thanks, Grandma. Oh, did you grow? Oh, let me pinch your cheeks. Where is my tier list? I lost it immediately. Ah. Add row below. More pets? Let's go! Yonert. Wait. I got two yawning pictures here. Which one is it? <laughs> Are these the same cat? Did I double them up? Yeah, be my eyes. I think it was this one that was leaning against another one, but like... Yonerts. Because I think they might be the same cat. Damn, I missed the submissions. You can submit now on the fly if you want. I'm adding them as they come. Okay, we got some more pets. Hold on, let me screenshot those. Parker and Midas. Oh, that's a great picture. That's a fantastic. That's a every every pet picture is a ten out of ten. We know this. <laughs> uh, the the other one. Oh, hold on. I think I can get its face. It's kind of hiding. Okay, I'll add those ones in. <gasps> oh, this is the poem. 
I remember, I remember you posted pictures of Chloe before, and I remember thinking that palm is so cute. There she is. Okay, I will add all these lovely pets. Choose files. Three new additions. Add those in. Okay. So we got the two potatoes. We got the gombulus and the yonert. Next up is Julie. <gasps> Julie! <laughs> Julie's doing a yonert, but Julie is not. Ju Julie is a unique cat. Oh, I really love this photo. Look at that. <laughs> so cute my cat is a lot like julie in the way where like when she's stretched out like this she looks pretty normal wait chat be chill there's a dog on screen along with the cat be chill when she's stretched out like that she looks like she's a normal size but as soon as she like glumples like this <gasps> glumple that's that's what julie is she's a glumple Gotta, gotta add this to the tier list right now. Glumple. Sometimes it just comes to me. <laughs> Those ears, right? Sassy look. My family used to have a cat though. Her pictures always look like she was super grumpy, but she was very sweet. Submitted my beautiful princess that I love with my whole heart. Oh, thank you for your submission. Shithead Tommy has been at it. Oh my goodness, Shithead Tommy just dropped. Big fan. Big fan of Shithead Tommy. We'll get there though. Okay, we got three new pets. Let me just screenshot. <gasps> Am hoy. You can discuss the tier list while I do this and how accurate or inaccurate it is. Okay, we got two pets here. <laughs> All these pictures are delightful. I feel so much better. This is just what I needed. Just chilling, looking at cats, looking at dogs, looking at bugs. Shit had Tommy so photogenic. Absolutely photogenic. And Badger has been added. Alright, I think I got all the new pets. If I get to one and I can't find its headshot, then I'll be like, I'll, I'll know that I missed it. But I think we have all of them. <gasps> Emily, hello! Hello, hello. I love shithead Tommy. I don't know what I would ever do without him. Everybody needs their shithead Tommy. Definitely aiming for Flimper Dongus. <laughs> you might not get there, but you're gonna get somewhere. And I'm sure you're gonna be happy with it. We're getting very creative with our misuse of language today. Yeah, you can still submit. Go ahead. Go right ahead. Alright, I'm catching up. Just submissions. I see, I see. I know, Julie went from standard issue cat to chonker. That's what my cat does. My dad calls her the Studio Ghibli Sootball. Because she's so fluffy. And remember the arc when I had to shave my cat? Had a, had a shaved Moggy arc? She looked just like a normal cat underneath all that fur. It was astounding. Now when I look at her... Now that her fur is fully grown back, I look at her and I go, that's a fat cat, that's a big, that's a big cat. And then I remember, actually, this is one of those cases where she actually is just fluffy. <laughs> she has such dense curly fur that it like, she pops, she's like... It makes her look very rotund. Very rotundular. 
She doesn't know that an Oxford Dictionary editor is possibly hiding in chat looking for new words to add. Oh yeah, why don't you add this? I'm, I'm flipping the bird. Just kidding, that's so rude. Jihad Dummy reminds me of a flyer I recently came across for a missing cat in my area. It says his name is Edgar, but she also responds to Titbag. <laughs> oh, I hope they find Titbag. Oh no. I hope that they find her. If anybody if anybody comes across a Titbag, please make sure the owners get her returned safely. <gasps> Emily, hello! Alice! I'm slowly adding to the tier list. We're filling out the tiers. We got we got a Glarnkle, an El Goblino, and a Frongus, a Glumbo a Glumbulus, a Yonert, and a, gl a Glumple. A lot of a lot of glump words <laughs> today. Feeling a bit glumpy, you know? So that was the lovely Julie. The lovely Julie goes from standard issue cat to glumple. Next up is... I'm currently petless, but here's the cat who owns our workplace. Workplace cat and family dog. I love cats that just exist in workplaces. There's a historic site nearby where I live and a, a like historical church that a lot of tourists just walk in and out of. But they always had this church cat, this big orange cat that would just sit on a pillow. That cat was just like living the life. I gotta be honest, I'd go to that park just to just to look at the church cat. We call her the cat. <laughs> Alice left aliens behind to come watch another alien. What, me? Do I dare ask what these could mean? That you can you can ask, but I'm not sure I could be able to give you a clear answer as to what each tier actually means. You just, you feel it. You just know, okay? You just, I don't have to explain it. You just know, you know what a schmunkle is. You know what, you just know what a dongus and a flimp is inside of your heart of hearts. Human language cannot sum up what a scrogness is. Look at that doggy. Look at this cute little doggy. The doggy's so small, but still trying to do the cute little chin rest. This is. This doggy is. Hmm. I'd say this doggy goes in the dongus. This doggy looks like a dongus to me. A lovable dongus. <laughs> These category names are being dangerously close to an Adventure Time episode. They do get pretty creative with the language in Adventure Time. Yeah, dongus is very fitting. I agree. I agree. Okay, workplace cat, known as the cat. Classic cat behavior, just like sitting on keyboards, sitting on office chairs. Batting at things. What a cute little cat. And nobody owns this cat? This cat just lives in your workplace? The cat looks well loved. Yes, yes, Dongus, yes. Agreed. Oh wait, no, I was looking at- I was looking at- I was already looking at the cat and you guys weren't even seeing that. Look at this. Look at this cat. Sitting on the office chair like they own the place. Look at that. That's an- that's another yawner. There's the dongus, there's the dongus, but here. That's the office cat right there. Yeah, big yawn. Another yawnert, in a way, but also... I'm getting hints of... Hmm. This might be the flimp, I'm thinking. 
Now, which picture? The, here. Here it is. This is the flimp. Dongus and flimp. When building at my university has their own cat. He got kidnapped once. I literally kidnapped a university cat. And um, gave it a long and happy life. <laughs> I swear, there's more of a story behind it, and I actually did not kidnap anybody's cat. This was a stray cat that would hang around a university, probably being fed by the students. And one day, he just followed me home, and I put out a bowl of food, and he never left. <laughs> he just refused to leave. He came into the house, and he would not leave. We even took him to the vet, and he got so scared of a truck passing by that he burst out of the kennel, which turns out was slightly broken. And it, it was a really long walk to the vet, and he made his way back. We'd only had him for like, he'd only been in the house for like three days. Yet he knew to come back after that. That was, that was crazy. Anyways, we named him Giles. He was... He, he passed away at the age of like 14 or something. He lived a long life. And we still have Eddie, who was his best friend, who is now very old. But we have so many pictures of them just like wrapped around each other. They were in love. Them bitches gay. Good for them. Good for them. Mystery solved. Chia stole at least one cat. Well, the cat, the cat stole my heart, okay? Can you blame me? <laughs> He followed me back, and then he he just wouldn't leave. No good situation when he saw one, I guess. This guy looks like he's laughing his ass off. Yeah, he does look like he's laughing at me, doesn't he? Right here. This is a really... All these pictures are just fantastic. I forgot to post in there, but I just did. Okay. I'm glad you did. I will screenshot and I will add to the list. Cat burglar spotted. <laughs> oh, look at this bozo. This bozo is shaped like a marshmallow. I love it. Okay. Whoop. Bozo added. Ah, uh, yes. We have the lovable cringe. <laughs> also known as, well, as I was about to say her nickname Nezzy before I realized that that actually is her real name. And cringe is the is the nickname. But this, this is cringe. Look at cringe. <laughs> I made Cringe's picture, the picture of the tier list. She's become a mascot of my heart. Look at that, look at that little fella. I've never seen a rodent so eeby. Chewing on a toilet paper roll. When I had hamsters, I'd give them toilet paper rolls because they'd love to crawl through them and then eventually chew them and turn them into nesting. Look at that little guy. Nessie's got spots like a little tiny rodent cow. Or a horse or something. It's it's so cute. I don't think I've ever seen a gerbil with a pattern like that. When I used to volunteer at a pet store, all the gerbils were like gray and brown. I don't think any of them had any sort of like spots or stripes or anything. Nessie's got great taste. Oh my goodness. Must be a rodent thing. Love them so much, I know. I love all these pets so much, it hurts. It, it's hurting me to look at these. More pets dropped? I'll add them to the list. Why are they chewing on toilet paper rolls? They love to like crawl through them. It's just like mental stimulation for a rodent. They love to crawl through them and then eventually they'll chew on them and turn them into nesting. They'll like tear them apart and then sleep in them. <laughs> Look at little Cringe slurping on some water. I love Cringe's house. Great decoration. 
Live in the uh, live in the millennial dream right here. Look at that. So the paper rolls are the rodents bubble wrap. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you could say you could say that. So any of you just joining, just know I'm a little under the weather. Definitely not just choking on my own spit. What do we say? Nezzy is, I'd say, through and through, each time I have seen pictures of Nezzy drop, I go, that's a Scringus. That, that right there, that's a Scringus. <laughs> she added a door to that house since the photo is taken. Ooh, a new hole. Very good. I trust in the process. I'm, I'm sure she knows what she's doing. I'll let her know immediately. Yeah, let her know. Let her know I said hi as well. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a great house. I used to get my hamsters big chunks of wood. Like that. But they would also just chew them. Yeah, toys never last long around a rodent. Oh my goodness. I, I'm blissed out right now. Vibing so hard. A new Scrungus? Oh my god, are we getting more rodent pets? That's very exciting. But again, all of these pets are just 10 out of 10. Good pet. Very good. Oh. I got one eye Joe here. One eye Penny, I mean. Okay, let me add these pets. And have a have a coughing fit. Sorry, sorry. I'm I'm back. I'm I'm coughed out. Okay. You should get Penny an eye patch, I think. She'd look very distinguished. Then we got Buster and King. Oh. No, wait, no, 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 don't record, don't, no, don't screen record. I'm so stupid. How'd I do that? This is going in the pet compilation. And then we got Jesse here, let me, let me add. Jesse to the list. And the bozo. Okay. Could Glebe mean alien like? Well, that's the beautiful thing about this tier list is there is a lot of interpretation that can be taken from each unique tier. It's more than just like it's more than just a number on your pet. It's it's a it's a persona. Okay, let me add these little bozos. Nice, okay, the list grows. Except El Goblino, that one is pretty clear. <laughs> yeah, that one is probably the clearest on the list so far, is El Goblino. A Skrungus. Yeah, we got a Flint, we got a Skrungus, we got a Glarnkle, a Dongus, an El Goblino, a Frongus, a Glumbulus, a Yawner, and a Glumple. <laughs> I feel like I'm having a, like, a breakdown, a meltdown, a, a, a psychological interference of some sort. Am, am I okay? I should not be doing this while I'm sick. Oh. Hi, chat. <laughs> that being said, one should always be looking at cute pets when they're sick. This is... Next up, we got Buddy. One-toothed Buddy. I love this picture. I love capturing cats mid-blip. 
if I pet my cat enough, she will just suddenly... She'll start blipping. It's so cute. Like, if I scratch the top of her head, eventually she'll just stick out her tongue. Because she's so, like, into it. <laughs> <laughs> like that. <laughs> Buddy is very cute. Oh, that's a great photo. Okay, where, where do I have Buddy on the tier list? Let's see. Here. Right here. Hmm. I'd say Buddy is a glebe. <laughs> Especially in the second photo here. Buddy's definitely a glebe. He's approximately 20 years old. Oh my goodness gracious. Buddy is an old fella. The rare chia blip. The rare eh. To me, that series of emotes broke my brain. <laughs> oh, Emily. Thank you for lurking. Yeah, I'll, t I'll keep talking about Glebe. Um, this pet? The reasoning for me choosing Glebe is this pet looks like a Glebe. And then we got Pico. Pico is a great name for a cat. This is such an ominous photo. <laughs> like right, right here, I can't tell the coloration of this cat, but here, definitely a calico. Yeah, good cat. Both of these photos are so cryptid. <laughs> like Pico looks so long here. Very cute. Which- wait, which one did I- what did I even screenshot for Pico? Did I? I think I got so disturbed by the picture I maybe forgot to take a screenshot of Pico. Oh, let me- let me rectify that right now. We're going with this one. Oops, sorry I missed. There we go. <gasps> Rin's back. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, raiders. Hello. Dragon flyby. Just doing a little flyby. Thank you for dropping your dragons off here. At Dragon Daycare. We're looking at some pets. <laughs> Everybody knows that each pet is a 10 out of 10. So we're, we're doing a kind of more unique tier list, I guess. A more inscrutable one, a more um, cryptic one than the usual 10 out of 10 pet tier lists that you've been seeing going around on the internet. So yeah, welcome. I hope you had a great stream. <laughs> yeah, drop off your schmunkles in the Discord. <laughs> you took Pico's picture from the image where she's cuddling Buddy. Oh, did I? Am I- Oh, I did! I did! Okay. Yeah, th because of the nature of this photo, it just does not look like the same cat. Like, this little adorable fuzzball right here cuddling this little guy and they're like- they're like holding hands. Does not look like this cat. <laughs> like, this is the cat that is always watching me from people's windows whenever I'm just trying to walk at night. Did I ever tell you about the cowboy in the window chat? Your chances of getting killed by a cat are low, but never zero. Think about that. Cats trip people down the stairs all the time. I know instances of elderly people having to get rid of their cats because cats just love to cuddle your feet. I would simply just let the cat kill me, but that's just, that's just me. That's just me. If it was between me tripping down the stairs and potentially dying or getting rid of my beloved cat, I would just simply fall down the stairs by myself. 
<laughs> got work soon, gotta lurk. Thank you for the lurk and the flyby. Good luck with work. You got this. Yeah, you can still post your pet late. I'll just add it to the list. Yeah, I would die with honor. <laughs> okay, this adorable little calico here. Let's see. I'm thinking Flumpert. Oh, did not mean to do that. I'm, th I'm thinking Flumpert. Um, add a row to the bottom. Keep having senile moments today where I just like... <laughs> my brain just lags. I'm like, where am I? If a cat was killing me, I'd go, oh, look at her with the cute little claws. Yeah, me too. Psst, psst, psst. Come kill me. My cat, my dad's cat will just randomly sprint between rooms sometimes. I love that so much. Especially like post poop for whatever reason. Cats always get the zoomies. <laughs> the post poo zoomies. <laughs> Or they just start racing around. They tear around the house and like get just cat litter everywhere. Every cat is so magnificent, right? <laughs> oh my goodness, Corgi. The uh huh? The cow the cowboy in the window. Um one of the most terrifying experiences of my life, besides the clown in the parking lot, it was the cowboy in the window. I must have told you guys about the cowboy in the window. I've definitely told you about the clown in the parking lot quite a few times. <laughs> no spoilers for the pet tier list. <laughs> Please refrain from spoiling the pet tier list. The fact they're all pink and purple is magnifique. Is to make the tears even more inscrutable. Exactly. I was like, there's no reason for them to have colors. And then I was like, wait, there is a reason for it to have a color. I'm going to choose a color I like. <laughs> and that's the reason they're pink and purple. This cat's drinking lean. Oh, I meant my late cat, as in passed away. Yeah, you can- Oh, oh, that's what you meant. Yeah, you can post your late pets. Do it. I will give them a place of honor in the tier list. Among Dongus and Schmunkle. But yeah, where's your favorite pea yellow? I thought that yellow might get a little hard to look at. I did think about it, though. But today, it's purple. I don't know why. I, it, I don't know what's possessing me today to choose anything that I chose. It's just happening. <laughs> no, my mods did not take the yellow pee away from me. I can choose- I can make them yellow. I can make them yellow very easily. Wait, what did I say? What did I say this cat was? I've forgotten already. I said something weird. Can't wait to see babies in new. <laughs> yeah, we just leave the new category. <laughs> glebe? We have a glebe. But yeah, this is also a... Like, there, there are some glebe elements there. Hmm. Glebe. Yeah, I might have said flurble. Flurble. Flurble, flurble. Flurble! Flurble. That's a flurble. That's, yeah, that's a flurble. Goes with the glumble. Quite nicely, I'd say. That is scary, Tear. <laughs> Just for the one... Just for this picture, I can add a scary tear. 
This is the same cat, by the way. It's scary. Yeah, the cowboy in the window was me walking home at night to look up into someone's window that was wide open with light flooding through, only to see a silhouette of a man with a cowboy hat holding what I presume to be like a whiskey or something. One of those short stout glasses just staring at me, standing so still. And I stopped and I stared back. And we just, we were staring at each other. I was looking at the cowboy in the window. Just the way he was standing, unmoving, he looked like a mannequin, but I, I just couldn't quite make out whether he was real or not. And that freaked me out so much. Because he was backlit by whatever light was in their living room. So I could only really see his silhouette, including the cowboy hat. And like, um, I think he had a flannel shirt on or something. But he was stock still. The cowboy in the window really sounds like a poem now. <laughs> That's the cowboy in the window. That sounds like some shit that would happen in a David Lynch movie. What is your life, Chia? <laughs> uh, shouldn't have drank that well water. Should not have drank it. You think David Lynch directed my life? This could be a possibility. I do run into a lot of weird, just cryptic things. I'm just like, what does this mean? Like, uh, another time I was walking home, to I decided to take the forest path when I was walking home. So I was walking through the forest, it was midwinter, and I noticed that... I just get this feeling like I'm being watched. And I look up on the branches and I notice that there's a bunch of crows in the branches. And then I look over at another tree and the tree is also covered in crows. And I just look around me. And there was more crows than I'd ever seen in one location, all on the branches of the trees surrounding me, staring at me. I was like, what did I walk into? <laughs> I've heard of a murder of crows, but like, this is a lot. This is a lot of crows for one location. So I kept walking. I was like, I'm just going to pretend that this is not happening and that this is normal. And um, I get to the field part of the forest just before I get home and I look back. And suddenly they all fly away up into the air. And there was just, there were so many crows. They like painted the sky black. It was, it was freaky. It was a lot of crows. I'd say yes if I thought David Lynch knew what VTubers are. He definitely does not. He definitely does not, but like imagine. I think he would go kind of crazy with it. I think if he knew what a VTuber was, I think he would do, he would make a weird ARG VTuber. That isn't me. Yeah, just like the movie The Birds. Yeah, we have to show David Lynch VTubers. Chia lives in Twilight. I live in the Twilight Zone. This is my normal though. <laughs> now when weird things happen, I'm just like, yup. Bunch of birds, yup. Cowboy in the window, yup. A clown in the parking lot honking a horn at me for some reason while I'm alone trying to carry groceries back. Yep. A man hyper fixated on his genitalia because he was probably on drugs in a public space. Yep. Seen it all, Chad. I've seen it all. If that happened in 1745, someone would get accused of being a witch. Yeah, I'd get back to my little village and I'd be like, Bethany is definitely a witch! There was a bunch of birds in the forest and they were all watching me. And then I start like convulsing just to really sell it. Just to really sell the fact that Bethany is in fact a witch. <laughs> Perhaps you, you should stay inside. You see why I, I like, I try. I try to stay inside now. Less chance for weird things to happen. Now imagine this all happening in one day, and then it all, what if I told you it all happened in one day? That would be insane. It can only be a good thing. Yeah, it could, uh, showing David Lynch VTubers can only be a good thing. It's a new media for him to experiment with. Okay, we got a Flurmble. We got the Flurmble down. Now we have another black cat. I love black cats so much. 
Good photos. I like how they're both unfocused. <laughs> and I know that's not on purpose. I have a tortoiseshell cat. She's pretty much a black cat. And the camera just, it does not focus on her. It just will not focus. So every photo I take of her is so blurry. And I think that always adds to it. <laughs> Yeah, I think David Lynch would also like VTubers. Okay, this cat here, I've screenshotted. Crab's cat. Hmm. Let's see. We've got a Gleave, we've got a Flimp. We got- we got a Scrangle. Saying it's a Scrangle will be too close. That's a Bumbus? Oh my goodness. Y no, you are- you are so right. I know it's not on the list, but like... Add Ro. When you- when you're right, you're right. You just got the vibe immaculately there. That there is a bumbus. Right there. <laughs> I love it. Bumbus. That's fun to say. I think I've started to watch Twin Peaks like uh, four times now. I just keep getting to this one part, and I know it's notoriously... It notoriously slows down at that part, so that's where a lot of people fall off. I just can't quite get over the hump, but I really, really want to complete it. Because I love the vibes. I just don't know why. I, I just stop, and then I never pick it back up again, and then I have to restart, because I don't remember what happened in Twin Peaks, and it's a cycle. It's a cycle! I drink water, I pee, I drink water, I pee! This entire stream is just Chia adding new made up tears. Well, you... You you really, you figured it out! You figured out exactly what I'm doing! One hour into the stream, I'm glad that you eventually got there. <laughs> Next up, we got Crybaby. Is it Guccio or Guccio? And then we got Einstein and Marcia. I'm going to guess that no teeth here. This is Guccio. The C is tss. Okay, Guccio. The old man here. This is Einstein. And this is Lady Morcia. Yeah, all in order, I assumed. That's a good photo. I mean, they're all good photos. <laughs> You know, Einstein in this one kind of looks like Winston. Just because I can't see the white on his chest. Yeah, this is very scientific. Okay. First up, Guzio. Hmm. I'd say that he is perfectly suited to the, to the schmunkle tier. Einstein and Winston kind of sound similar as names. Oh, you're right. They do. But Winston is not an Einstein. So that's where... That's that's the separation right there. Winston may be one of the dumbest brick cats I've ever met. And that's okay. <laughs> one day, my mother came up to me. She was so distressed. She's like, Chia, Chia, I just closed the wind 
the window on Winston's head. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, oh no. At least that won't do any damage to him. You know, you can't you can't concuss what's already like concussed already. <laughs> he just he keeps going. Like I know exactly what she means because every time I try to close my door, if I close it too fast, there's a chance that Winston could be trying to get through it at that very moment. He like plays a game to see if he can get through the gap as quickly as possible. And you know, you frick around, you find out. I just closed the Winston on Winston's head. You can't make fun of me, I'm sick. <laughs> I don't know where I am. I don't know who you people are. I don't know who these pets are, but they're they're certainly cute. That's so orange cat coated, right? It's so orange cat coated. Are you the Winston? Wait, am I? Ooh. Okay, we're getting into completely new tiers. Next up... Is Einstein? Let me add a new tier here. Uh, tier? Hello? Make it pink. <gasps> Another cat just dropped. Okay, I will add them after this. Winston? Like Winston Overwatch? No, chat. No, not Winston like Winston Overwatch. I... Oh, oh. He was named Winston because he had a bunch of siblings that also all started with W names. Like, uh, like, Winry and Wilson and Winter. And we weren't supposed to adopt Winston. But the foster person had already adopted the cat I was going to adopt. So um, I ended up with Winston. You know, you don't choose the cat. The, the cat chooses you. And if I had known what Winston was going to be like, I would have chosen him in a heartbeat. Overwatch, shut up. <laughs> this is a little baby man, I agree. This is a little baby man. He's so big and heavy, he's all muscle and fat. Okay, that's, that's good to know. Because... From that photo, that is deceptive, but here you can see a bit more bulk. Hmm. I'd say Einstein is, um... I got it. I got it, I'm gonna reveal it, I hope you'll agree. Wumbo. <laughs> Okay, I got some new pets to add. Let me just screenshot those. <gasps> Toothless. Toothless looks exactly like the um, DreamWorks, Pixar, Disney, uh, I forget which studio made How to Train Your Dragons, Dragon. Probably hence the name. Look at this distinguished gentleman wearing a bow tie. I can't get my cat to wear shit. I have a little attack on uh, a little, uh, a little attack on Titan. Uh, why can't I say attack on Titan? Holy shit! What's wrong with me? I have an attack on Titan cape, and I I have a matching one for myself, and I I wore it, and I put my little pet sized one on Autumn, and then she just flop over. I'd be like, you're embarrassing me. You're gonna embarrass me in front of the con goers. You keep flopping like this. Oh, that's a very good photo. Okay, I'm gonna add this one. Just like in the show. Yeah! Toothless just like in the show. And you know what? He has a stray 
or he was astray and I baited him with fish. Again, sometimes you don't choose the cat, the cat chooses you. Okay, let me just add them. Yeah, that's a great photo. Okay, we got Einstein on the tier list under Wumbo. Now we have the fine lady, Marcia, who deserves a fine tier. For a fine cat. El Goblino is killing me. <laughs> this, is a, this is a little goblin of a cat here. El Goblino. You know what? I, I'm... I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Add row below. That's an L baby. Right there. That's a, that's a little that's a little baby cat that needs to be protected. <laughs> I'd add the accents, but I don't know how to do that on my keyboard. You're just gonna have to imagine them there. She truly is El Bebe. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Next up. We have Effie's little puppy here. Little puppy photo. It's a big puppy photo. I love seeing the like I love seeing like baby photos of people's pets because there's the this dog looks like it belongs on dog food or something. And I love the transformation. Bebe a pete. Yeah, she did evolve. She did evolve. What's her name? Still a baby, but a big baby now. Puppy definitely goes in the new tier. I agree. I did in fact screenshot both. Okay, add row. Because it'd be cheating to have the same bet twice. I'm, I'm doing... I'm adding it to new because I think it would be funny. Puppy? New tier. Full grown doggo? Do people still say doggo? <laughs> I swear, I'm not millennial. In this case, I am... I'm, 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 a, fellow, I'm a fellow Zoomer. How do you do, fellow Zoomers? I definitely don't flip-flop between the two because I was born in late December. That's a- oh my goodness, that's a freaking doggo right there. That's a freaking doggeroni. A little pepperoni doggeroni. Freaking doggo. Yeah, are you team doggo or team skibbity? You gotta choose. <laughs> this is our holy war. Chia, please, I'm sorry. I'll stop. <laughs> or will I? <laughs> Can't wait till Chia whips out the fur baby. Oh, goodness. Oh. That's... That one makes my stomach curdle. It's like... I don't know. I don't know about that one. Like, yeah, I, I love my cat, but she's not my baby. She, I mean, she's my baby, but she's not... In no way do I have any delusions that I have birthed this animal. She is just a baby creature. She is not a human baby child. And I will not treat her like a person because she is a cat. I will die on Doggo Hill. <laughs> team Doggo or Team Skibbity, you gotta choose now. 
I like to go with classic doggy. Yeah, I, I call dogs puppies. Her baby is like ultimate grandma speak. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. For sure. Okay, this overgrown puppy here is, um, hmm. Dongus is taken. This is a splu. No. Sploogie. Every time I say anything, Chad is just like, yep, yep. <laughs> Definitely a Bumbus Flurmbo. I understand completely. I asked ChatGPT to make Cowboy in the Window into a poem. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that sentence scares me. You're gonna have to post the results in Discord though. I, I'm excited to read Cowboy in the Window. Sluggy. Thanks for diagnosing my doggo. I had no idea she was a sploogie. <laughs> now you know. Now you know. I diagnose your doggo with sploogie. <laughs> the internet hamster told me my dog was a sploogie. Doctor, is my dog going to be okay? Dog tour? Oh my goodness, I'm just talking to a dog? This whole time? Oh, this is what you meant, Pody. These are- this is your pet- your pet again, and I- I- I took more screenshots of them. Okay. The Glumbulus goes in the Glumbulus tier. Because I don't want to remove the, um, images, because I'm- I'm just- I'm scared. I'm scared I'm going to delete all of them if I try. And then this was a Yonert. And it still looks quite eeby there. Ah, you're a Sploogie? I'm an Aquarius. It won't work out. <laughs> yeah, I guess this probably has the same relevance as like your star signs. Still eeby. Still a Ebert. Me and my wife simultaneously gave birth to both of our cats. Wow. First ever, um, fur mother or father. <laughs> fur daddy? Fur mommy? Congrats on the fur baby regardless. I'm, uh, so happy for you. Okay, next up we have... Blop. We got Lester, Molly, and Penelope. I used to have a hamster called Penelope. Named after, of course, Penelope from Hamtaro. Is this Lester? I love elderly cats. They look so scrunkly. Yeah, he eaten. Eating on some tuna fish right there. You know what? He's a scrunkle. I keep moving my tier list around by accident. Oops. Add row. Scrunkle. Classic. Yeah, the Scrunkle is a classic. Scrunkle. Oh, 
What are you getting at, Linka? Dog in the box, I know. Dog in the box, what will he do? Found himself a little home. What would we put the doggy under? Hmm. <laughs> the side eye that the dog's giving me. <laughs> Get this dog a bigger box. Poor little guy. Comfy to you. Yeah, comfy. Um, if I fits, I sits tier. The heckin' doggo sure is sitsing in that box. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I understand that nobody ever wants to watch me again after that one. Safe tier. They are safe. Let's see. Let's let's add a row first. Hmm. So many little old guys. Yeah, we got so many little old guys. You know, sorry because you're gonna do it again. <laughs> oh, you got me, you got me. Yeah. This is a flub. Flub. Next up, we got the lovely Penelope. Looks very comfy in that little basket there. My cat will definitely choose any small space over... Like, any, any small space she can't really fit into, she will try her best to fit into it. Including, like, <laughs> for whatever reason, when I'm trying to sleep, she'll try to sleep between the gap between my pillow and my headboard. So she'll just cram herself right into that little gap and she's way too big to be there. So like during the night, suddenly I'll have like a paw on my head or something. I'll be like, what are you doing? Why are you touching me? Add. Go below. Or like her tail will flick onto my face and I'll feel sneezy. Hmm. What do we say this cat is? This adorable cat next to the jar. Jar this cat! I'm just, I'm just playing. Don't do that. Please. If your name is... Shane Dawson, please exit my chat immediately. Thank you. He looks like a herald. I, right? Doesn't she look like a herald? You're right. Herald. Wow, this tier list is coming along swimmingly. Gleef, Flimp, Scrungus, Glunkle, Dongus, Schmunkle, El Goblino, Afrongus, Glumbulus, Yawner, Glumple, Lurmble, Bumbus, Wumbo, Well, Baby, Spooky, Scrunkle, Flub, Harold, and brand new puppy. Why does the new puppy smell? You know, you know what, what little little animals smell like. Puppies and kittens smell so good before they get stinky. I'm just playing. My cat smells pretty good. She sleeps in my laundry all day, so she just smells like laundry all the time. She is reciting the cast for Garden of Ban Ban 27. <laughs> okay, you guys are gonna love what we have next. A little bit of an untraditional pet. Um, <laughs> took these all this morning. I have no pets, I hope. Y'all accept this. I, I accept it, I accept it. First one, um, just doesn't have a name. Why does it look like a frog smiling at me? You got frog from this? You got smiling frog from this bug? I- 
I guess if I like squint and maybe don't look at the image anymore, it kind of looks like a frog. Then we have Clubber. The grasshopper. And not Avi. Some sort of some sort of bee. Pollinating of flowers. Am I allowed to show that on Twitch? His laundry is extra stinky. No, it smells good. It smells like detergent. Yeah, cool bug. Can we just add like a cool bug tier or something? Row below. Cool bug. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. This one is just going to be a smiling emoticon. We'll put the one that quote unquote looks like a frog smiling at me into the smiley emoticon <laughs> list. <laughs> the bug bros. Yeah. <laughs> Game Dev, if you're in chat, pay up the 25% if you decide to make the game. <laughs> what? <laughs> you don't have to give me 25%. You can just make a game based on whatever collective mass hysteria is happening right now between all of us. <laughs> Smiley bug. And then add row below. Row below. That's kind of fun to say. This is for um, Clubber. In fact, that is already how you named it. Like, this is Clubber. Clubber the Grasshopper. Like, I know that that's its name, but also it, it just fits it very well. Add a row below. And then... <laughs> it was about Garna Ban Ban 27. Oh yeah, if Garna Ban Ban devs use any of my names, you gotta at least give me like a free copy of every Ban Ban game. That's all I ask. Okay. This quote-unquote B that is definitely not Avi is going in the Avi tier for no particular reason. I'm gonna move Clubber up. There we go. Just wanna- I feel like I need to break up the bugs for some reason. Oh my goodness. There we go. Okay. I'm quite happy with how this tier list is progressing in terms of tiers. Let's see, what is next? <laughs> Yumpin' Spider? Yumpin' Yiminy, is that a spider? <laughs> I'm pretty sure Jiminy Cricket is public domain and has been for a while. I was watching, um, Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio, which I I remember enjoying it, so I think it was good. But for whatever reason, he decided to add in his own Jiminy Cricket, and I don't know why it felt weird. Maybe it was just a little F you to Disney. In that case, that's just boy boss, boy boss move. Look at this absolute unit. 
speaking of doggos, do we have a chonker yet? <laughs> Cause if not, we have one now. <laughs> that is such a big squirrel. All the uh all the squirrels around here are pretty big as well. Yeah, absolute massive. That's that's it. That's a unit right there if I ever saw one. An absolute unit of measurement. Yeah, this one is a chonker. For sure. <laughs> big squirrel. You know what they say about big squirrels? Big nuts. For them to munch on because he's holding... Don't get it twisted. He actually has like one of the biggest acorns I've ever seen. Damn. The squirrel is huge. <gasps> Damn, hi. Did I tell you about the time my brother was attacked by a squirrel? I thought it was so funny. We were in a park. And I was just like, I was feeding nuts to squirrels. I was, I was being a bit of a Disney princess. Like they were swarming me like sharks, probably ready to like eat me alive or something. But my brother saw this happening. He was like, I want to feed a squirrel. So he holds a little like pine cone up to this scrunkly little squirrel. And instead of going for the pine cone, the squirrel like leaps and bites onto his finger. It attaches itself. And I have a very vivid image of my brother shaking this squirrel around. <laughs> it's just like, just chomped onto his finger and he's just trying to, he's like flinging it around trying to get the squirrel off his hand. And then the squirrel gets flung away and then runs away. <laughs> very, very funny. Very funny moment for me. Uh, terrifying for him, I'm sure. He thought that that squirrel was going to kill him. I think he had to get a rabies shot after that too because squirrels don't normally just bite people like that. <laughs> yeah, you don't fuck with squirrels. I mean, they do bite people. They've been known to bite people, but that that was like an especially vicious bite. That was a targeted interaction. That was like the squirrel went right for the finger. The squirrel like grabbed the pine cone, flung it out of the way and then bit his finger. Like, the squirrel didn't want any of that. <laughs> Is he scared of them now? I don't think he's very fond of squirrels, but I don't think he's scared of them. Yeah, absolute cartoon moment right there. I will forever treasure this memory of my brother with a squirrel hanging off his finger. <laughs> You're not supposed to feed squirrels. Yeah, you're not supposed to feed them flesh. Now he's got a taste for it. That squirrel probably bit so many other children in barks. <laughs> what are the odds my brother wasn't the first either? Yeah, you're developing a squirrel army? Let's go. My grandma was an eccentric lady. She had a seagull army. She, my mother would tell me that she would always feed the seagulls in her backyard chicken skin for some reason and chicken bones. She'd just fling them into her backyard and every morning she'd just have a group of seagulls clustered in her yard. She also had a pigeon called General Dreidel that she kept in the house and the, it would it sounds like it just was allowed to poop everywhere. A anyway, <laughs> after any animal bites you, you should get a rabies shot. Yeah, it's pretty unusual for animals to just bite. It's better to be safe than, you know, dead. I think there's only ever been one documented case of someone surviving rabies. This is Frank. He's not alive, but fluffy and cute. I made him myself. <gasps> you made him? I love him. Oh my goodness. This is a beautiful creature. Kinda looks like a pine cone. Wow. I love Frank. Frank is gorgeous. 
Frank gets a tear all to himself. This is, um... Hmm. I, it would feel disrespectful to call Frank anything other than Frank. I misspelled Frank so badly and I put Frab. So, um... There we go. Frank. <laughs> okay, yeah, Frank. <laughs> Frank the Frank. I love it. That's got good mouthfeel. Yeah, there is some combo technique that worked. I was scaring myself by watching a video that was pretty much just describing the steps of how rabies affects people. And I that's where I heard about the coma thing that it had it had a really interesting name. Where if someone is a victim of rabies, they will induce a medical coma to try to save their lives. It's only ever been documented to save one life before. Because the fever is, is insane. Like, the fever just cooks your brain. Yeah, what's it, what's it called again? The technique? Maybe it saved more than just one person. Maybe it saved a few people, but the chances of it Actually saving people is really, really slim. Yeah, it's it's a fatal. Rabies is considered fatal. Why do I want to call it like the, the Columbo technique? That's not it. Rabies. Induced coma. I just need to know for my own sake now. The Milwaukee Protocol. Yeah, that's what it's called. It involves chemically inducing the patient into a coma followed by the administration of antiviral drugs combined with ketamine and amantadine. So yeah, it's just, you're fricked, we're gonna put you into a coma and pump you full of drugs and hope that you survive. <laughs> Horrifying. Anyways, yeah, get a rabies shot if an animal bites you. It's better to be safe than uh, have to go through the Milwaukee protocol that you probably won't survive. The medical term is the Healy EP. <laughs> that makes it that makes it sound so cute. I want to go through the Healy EP. I'm sick. Always fear rabies. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty terrified of it. Especially after hearing it can lie dormant in a human brain for like up to a year before it starts showing symptoms. And then I, I like think back to the past year I've been through and all the times I've gone camping and I go. What if, like, what if, like, a little bat bit me or something and I didn't even know? Anyways, that kind of thinking will get you, um, spiraling in existential dread. <laughs> I need to look at more cute cats. I don't, I don't want to think about rabies right now. Uh, uh. Enzo. He likes to be rubbed on his stomach for some reason. Weird for a cat. Some cats love to get their bellies rubbed. My mom's cat, who is also a cow cat like Enzo, he rolls over onto his back presenting the tummy, but if you touch it, he is like a bear trap. He'll grab onto you and bite. But he's also kind of a bit of a rotund cat, so I use that to my advantage where if he's perfectly flat on his back, he'll try to bite me. But he'll be too he'll be too big to lift his head to where my hand is, so I'm like I'm scratching your tummy and meanwhile he's like trying to bite me to the best of his ability. The marshmallow one. Yeah. Anything that lays dormant is so creepy. Yeah, it's insidious. You're a zombie Manchurian candidate. What wait, what does that mean? Good news is there haven't been any they haven't been able to actually confirm bat to human transmission. It's just assumed. Yeah, it's just it's assumed. I think it's one of those things that doesn't survive very long without a host. You're only called paranoid until you're proven right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Often I I say this to my chat all the time, just trust your gut. 
You're not crazy. Trust your gut. You feel like something's wrong. You're probably right. Worst case scenario is you take a trip to the doctor and the doctor tells you you're fine. And then you don't you don't have to worry. Merry Christmas from me and Enzo. Oh. Christmas was last year. <laughs> What a cute picture. Yeah, Enzo's so fluffy and, and also a little bit of a rectangular individual. Marshmallular. Christmas happens every year. What? But it was last year. What do you mean it's gonna happen again? What do you mean? Christmas just is- it's a week away! I always make that joke until Christmas is a week away and then I go, oh shit. Oh yeah, that's a good cat. Can you believe it? I can't believe it! Christmas but leap years. Oh yeah, we did have a leap year this year, didn't we? Okay, this rotundular cat by name of Enzo It's getting a tear here. Hmm. This is a splu. And did I take a picture of him? Did I not take a picture of him? Maybe I didn't take a picture of... Enzo here. Uno momento, Sifo Play. I will rectify that right now. Is a close relative to the Splooty, but it, yeah, you can't confuse it. That's like calling that's like calling a dog and a wolf the same thing. They're adjacent, but they're different. Pause and hoy. Okay, we got a Splooty. Let me make sure I got every pet. Is there any new ones? <gasps> oh, there's a hamster! Hold on. Screenshotting. This pleases me. And a jumping spider! Jumping spiders are so cute. Does anyone here watch Lucas the Spider? I know so many people who don't like spiders, but they're like, Lucas the spider, that guy's all right. Okay. And... We add these. A biologist would like to have a word with you if you say dogs are wolves. They're canines. But a dog is a different species. You can look that up on Wikipedia. <laughs> you ever go through Wikipedia and just start clicking like up a chain of genii or whatever? <laughs> I've done that before. I'm like, I'm going back all the way. Okay, then I guess we're chimpanzees. We're 
We're all homo after all. I don't hear people say nice things about spiders often enough. Thank you, Chi. I love spiders. When I see spiders, I'm like, I know that my place is gonna be pretty bug free. I'm like, that little guy is gonna hunt down so many spiders. Dogs go awoo while wolves go awoo. Dogs go. <laughs> Dogs go bow bow while wolves go awoo. Get it right. <gasps> well, welcome, Cremel. Thank you for blessing us with your beautiful creature here. Lupo, the psycho. <laughs> Beautiful dog, though. Oh, that's a great picture. Lupo the Psycho. I, I don't get Psycho energy from this, but also Lupo is at rest right now. Bow. Dog. <laughs> yeah, pretty dog. Where'd my cursor go? It vanished. It's back. It, it... What is happening? Um, if you Google it, it says the dog is a domesticated descendant of the wolf. It's unique enough to become its own species. Chia Fu and Moko collab when uh, they are Canadian, but probably never. Not unless I show up at their door and like physically restrain them. I'm just kidding. He's majestic. He does look very majestic. I like big dogs because they kind of remind me of like horses. <laughs> Especially those big long ones. There's someone around here that has a pet mastiff, I think it is. Those really, those really big hounds. And I just see her walking that giant dog. And I'm like, that's not a dog. That's a horse. <laughs> what sort of mad schemes is he plotting? Yeah, what sort of mad schemes? I'm healing through these crew. Your pets are the best, right? Aren't their pets so good? As you know, I'm under the weather today, but these pets have been healing. Nature is healing and I'm healed. For someone who's been around horses, they really are just big dogs. I haven't been around horses like a ton, but they do. They seem to display some dog-like tendencies. Like, they, they roll around in the mud. <laughs> you ever see a horse roll around? That's like a distinctly dog thing. Whenever I see a horse doing that, I go, that's not a horse. That's a dog. You think they'll buy that at, like, the airport? Hmm. What do I call this dog? I'd rub my low. I've jumbled up my rose. There we go. There we go. Okay, Lupo the Psycho. Y'all ever seen a horse fart? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, mods, don't pin that. No, please. Sound boy, I expect it better for me. <laughs> I do, but cats do the same and bunnies too, actually. That's just an animal thing. Yeah, they do love to roll around in the dirt. I think it's good for, like, rubbing off parasites or something. It is, it's definitely something that I associate mostly with dogs, probably because I've had dogs in my life more than I've had horses or bunnies. I did used to have a bunny though. It was a, it was a demon rabbit. This thing grew so big. 
This thing became the size of like a cat. I got it as like a little baby bunny. And I had this big enclosure, but by the time the rabbit was done growing, it looked like a small enclosure. And she was so strong as well. Like she could lift up the whole dang thing and crawl under it. It was it was terrifying. And she would chase new people who came into the house and she'd try to bite their ankles. You don't need a guard dog, you need a guard rabbit. Horses get zoomies too. But we call it bucking and farting. Do you? <laughs> no way. I'm googling this and if I see something that disturbs me, I'm blaming you. Well, I'll be damned. Anyone ever dealt with a horse who farts and bucks? <laughs> what? Wait, is this a common thing amongst horse owners? Oh my god, there's so many videos that are just called... Bucking and farting. What? Is this... This can't be... What? I think, I think you are correct. It's, uh, it seems to be widely used. I've just never heard it before. <laughs> what the hell? My dog has rubbed the grass off one patch of my backyard with how much he rides his bike. Okay, I'm learning new turns of phrase that I have never heard in terms of animals. Bucking and farting? Riding his bike? Do you mean like, like, um, scratching his butt on the ground? Is that what you mean? Or you mean like kicking the dirt? Like, what do you mean riding his bike? What does that one mean? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, scratching their back on the ground? That's called riding the bike. I'm learning. I'm learning so many weird animal phrases. Y'all ever played tug of war with a horse before? I never felt so weak. <laughs> they are strong animals. Okay, this dog is... I'm thinking... I'm thinking of like a Flarkus. I'm, I'm thinking Flarkus. I'd just like to imagine your dog can literally ride, ride a bike. I, I'm not gonna lie, that's what I had in my head. I was like, when this chatter's dog is riding the bike, where is he going? What kind of bike does he ride? <laughs> How is he so talented? How come my pet just sits around? Yeah, I can't lie. That's, that's what my ass was also picturing. <laughs> that dog complains about his job? Okay, that's a flankus then. Whoop. If you ever fed something to a horse, you know it's a it's a pretty different experience from feeding something to a dog. Yeah, you have to like lie your palm flat. And I remember hearing that horses can like suction cup their teeth onto your palm and that's why you want to lay it flat because of the way that their mouths are shaped and that that's a, like a horrifying image isn't it like a horse chomping on your hand and then like suction cupped onto your hand and Th doesn't that sound terrifying vacuums yeah they're they're just like vacuums and they got the suction of a vacuum too you ever see that video of the horse just <laughs> eating a baby chick and just <laughs> <laughs> horrifying? That's why they call me Horse Hands Andy. You got horse for hands? You got horse hands? That's crazy. Well, nice to meet you, Andy. 
The boy is Parker and Midas. I'm going to assume this is Parker. And this is Parker hiding behind the curtain. And Midas. Midas is, is a beautiful cat. I haven't, I have yet to see a more gorgeous cat. Holy moly. Got a real horse hands Andy over here. What does that mean? What does that even mean? My babies, Midas is the fluffy one. Midas looks very fluffy. So this is Midas. And this is Parker. Well, I stand by what I said. Parker is a beautiful soul. That's just because you don't want them to mistake your fingers for carrots. I'm pretty sure I had a horse trainer tell me that, though. Was she just trying to scare me? <laughs> Maybe she was messing with me. You don't lay your hands flat, you can lose a finger. Yeah, that, well, that too. That's just a given. Horses has got big mouths. They can eat a baby chick. They'll eat your whole dang hand if given the opportunity. My experienced dogs open their mouth to go bleb, bleb, bleb. Horses lean in close and then you feel these weird soft wet fingers wrap around the food before... The flats of the teeth press to your palm. That is a very descriptive... Um... Very descriptive... Uh... Wow. I felt like I was really feeding a horse there. <laughs> now the next time I feel, um... Soft, wet fingers wrap around food before the flats of perhaps teeth press into my palm, I'm gonna go, that's probably a horse eating out of my hand. Oh my goodness, Corey, that's intense. <gasps> they changed Grey Wolf to extinct on the Wikipedia? They're severely endangered, but there are still wild, wild ones, right? Yeah, I remember like someone actually ranting about dog Wikipedia pages because they people keep like changing the lifespans on them and they're not consistent. Like, they're really bad. <laughs> we go, um, yes, this is a dog. I don't know any more about it. Wow, Cringe just climbs onto my hand, grabs food, and hops off. She's so polite. Like, rodents are such polite pets. I don't think... I don't think they get a good enough rep. Okay, sweet Midas here. Sleepy sweet Midas. You're getting a tear of your own. You're gonna be called, um... Uh, ba 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 ba. <laughs> uh, uh, you know the noise that cats make. You know when they go. You know that noise. Yeah, that noise. The little. Brrr. Little Permio. A brap, one might say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, cats don't. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to make a fart noise. If it was a fart noise, it'd clearly start with a B and not a P. Yeah, cat trills. The brr. The cute little- yeah, I love cat chirps and trills. My cat doesn't really meow, she just trills. It's super cute, like, if I touch her, she'll trill. If I walk into the room, I'll just hear a little, like, Burr. I'm like, she's here! My cat is here! I don't see her, but I hear her. <gasps> Amhoi! Okay, next we have Parker. Beautiful Parker. That row. Beauteous boy. I really want to call um, 
I really want to call Parker a BBB, a big beautiful boy. Which I'm pretty sure that's what that stands for, right? <laughs> right? Chat's really like selling me on horses. Maybe I should. Next time I see a horse in a field, I'll try to feed it a carrot or something. Now that I'm no longer fearful of it trying to suction cup to my hand. I love it when cats do the ek 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 at the window. Oh yeah, when they have like the the ek 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 like reflex when they're dreaming of snapping a bird or a rodent's neck. That reflex. <laughs> no, I don't want to own a horse. No, thank you. Count your fingers afterward. Yeah, if I'm missing a finger though, like chat, you owe me. You owe me a finger. Damn, I got distracted. I forgot to post my Wilson. Do it! You can do it now! Definitely. Is, is Parker a BBB? BBB. I added two of the same cat here. Um. <laughs> Here's Parker though. Yeah. We got and BBB. <laughs> the part of the tier list where we're just breaking down. We're not even trying to make functioning sounding words. We're just using sound effects now. He breaks the sound barrier. <laughs> He is a big, beautiful boy. <laughs> he could wails like a 1800s orphan at various distances, sometimes completely silent. Wails! Oh my goodness. And Buddy barks. Every, every cat is so unique. I remember hearing somewhere that each cat has like a different accent and that cats can have accents. Although, I have been to France, and I have to say... Um, when I went into a cat cafe there, none of the cats went le meow. They all just went, uh... They didn't even make much noise, actually. They were just, they were sleeping. But no cat went le meow. So... Their accents can't be that strong. Le mine is too- Sh Shut up. <laughs> I deserve that. <laughs> Every cat personalized. Little Goobers posted. I will add the Goober. Let me screenshot. That's a good Goober. That's a that's a that's a good cat. Okay, screenshot. And added. Okay. We got Parker. And Midas added in. Let's see, who's next? <laughs> too far, too far. Wait. I saw the hamster and I was like, for, for a second. I thought I was looking at cringe. <laughs> okay, where were we? I'm going insane. Here we were. Here we were. Chloe. The little Pomeranian. She loved to cuddle and I visited home and it would lick me. And I tried to pet her. What an adorable little baby. <laughs> I love this picture so much. <laughs> I love it when dogs do that face. Um, when we used to have dogs, like, whenever they were on their back, they would do that same, like, the, you know, the, like, they're on their back, they're, like, being goobers, and they're side-eyeing, and they're, like, rolling around. 
I guess riding the bicycle, as chat would say. I love it. Good pictures. The Colosseum in Rome has some cats. Ooh. Cats are all over the world. But he will come over to people and tug on their shirt like a toddler does. It's terrifying. Who let a human child in here? Oh, hi. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> That's smart, though. Because that gets your attention. That's a smart cat. Yeah, look, look at that. Tongue out? That's a good dog smile. <laughs> yeah, I know some people who have, like, pet cows that they adore. Yeah, great picture. I mean, they're all great pictures. This, this one... This one's funny. Okay, Chloe. We shall add a row. Hmm. This marshmallower creature needs a name fitting of such a fiend. I liked her wonky eye. <laughs> yeah. She does have a bit of wonk eye, doesn't she? This wonk eye is something I always envision small dogs having, but not every small dog's got wonky eyes. She wears it very well, though. In fact, her one guy makes her cuter instead of making her look more gloopy and terrifying. <laughs> Sometimes I'll see like a dog, a little dog with like major one guy, and be like, "Is that is that dog okay?" They're looking in two directions at the same time, like a chameleon. If that, in fact, I think we got Wonk as, like, a tear here, did we? Did I put Wonk down? Very cute. Hmm. This is... In between a Glebe and a Flint. This is a Fleeb. She is a Fleeb. <laughs> Chloe seems like she would unexpectedly boot me with a wet nose when I'm visiting. I love it when pets do that. Winston always has a wet nose. And I can tell when he's been in my room if I like go to like touch a surface and it's like a little damp. I'm like, Winston sniffed this, didn't he? A drooly baby. He just drools all over my room and leaves. I have a picture of him after he drank some water. He's got like a big dribble on his chin. Is there a wink wonk? Can we add a wink wonk tear? <laughs> yeah, wink, wink wonk would be a good one. I'm a big fan of wink wonk. We got Bunny and Hemo. Both are bastards. Okay. I'm glad whenever any crew member tells me that the pet is a bastard. Because this does change quite a bit. Because everybody loves a lovable bastard. Okay. First up, Bunny. Bunny is so fluffy and looks like my mom's cat. Eva, who is also of the same build. Wait, are you... Are you my mom? <laughs> I'm just playing. But these cats do look very similar. Eva's also a bastard. She... She, like... She targets me. She pees on my stuff only, so I have to keep my room door closed at all times. That bunny. It does, in fact, look like a cat. Definitely princess tier? Oh yeah, yeah. Eva's also straight up a princess. She once scratched up my jacket and I went to work without knowing how scratched up it was because it was like right on the back and I put it on, bleary eyed in the morning and didn't even see. And I get to work and I'm like, oh, it's all scratched up. 
and I hang it up. And my boss was like, what happened to your jacket? I was like, my cat scratched it, I think. And she was like, what's your cat's name? I was like, Eva. And then she was like, Eva sounds like a bitch. And I'm like, she is! How'd you know? Well, she scratched my jacket, that's how you knew. But also, so true! <laughs> yeah. The, the princess flute, that's how you can tell. There we go. Lieb. And... Would you agree with the floof tier? Because I would say that um, Bunny is probably the fluffiest cat that has been submitted so far. I'm pretty sure I took a screenshot of her, but I think I might have forgot to add her to the tier list. I can live with the floof tier. <laughs> floof. And the floof tier is definitely a classic. There we go. Okay, let me add those in. Oh yeah, I did take screenshots. I just... I forgot to add them. I forgot. Those are my daughters. All of these beautiful pets are your daughters? <laughs> They're all someone's little baby floofy pet, I suppose. Also, welcome him, hoi. Emo is 100% brat tier. Okay. Bunny is floof. Emo sounds like a bit of a, a little bit of a brat as well. But. I don't think I'm just gonna call Hemo a brat. Hmm. I'm thinking... I, I have so many words swirling around in my brain. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking. <laughs> Shut up, I'm thinking, everybody. Shut up! Shut up! No, narp, narp. Hemo is narp, narp. <laughs> Let the captain cook. Perfect. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. Emo wishes she was an only child, but that's okay. She's just being herself. <laughs> yeah, not all cats get along. I know that Autumn wishes that she was an only child. And she is my only cat, but I, I live in a house that has many others, and they just have to... They have to exist. They have to find a way to get along. Loof and narp narp. <laughs> okay, fair. <laughs> I'm glad you're in agreement. I do want to touch the forbidden tummy. Oh my goodness, speaking of forbidden tummy, it's shithead tummy. Look at this precious creature. Look at this precious creature. These two cats don't even look like the same cat. For some reason, the camera really focused on Shithead Tommy's eyes instead of the rest of his body. So it feels like the eyes have just been like photoshopped with different cat eyes onto this cat. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's a bit, this photo is a bit uncanny. Yeah, Shithead Tommy, my beloved. 
Look at this creature! This is a creature! Would it be a cop-out to put him in the creature tier? <laughs> oh shoot, I forgot to add Shithead Tommy to my list. I definitely have a picture of them. I remember screenshotting Shithead Tommy. Yeah, there it is. He looks different every time I look at him. <laughs> the ethereal cat. The cat that can't quite be pinpointed in appearance. It changes every time. You're, you don't have a cat. You've got like um. You got like a... What are they called? Like a bogey or something? Well, there you go. You got- you got a boggy. You don't have a cat. You have a fey creature. A glorious beast, la creature. I completely agree with you. <laughs> a very whiz-brangle sort of guy. Uh, yeah, a whimsical whiz-brangle sort of boggy. He can scream for one minute straight without taking a breath. Everything you say about Shithead Tommy makes this cat sound faker and faker. <laughs> Everything you say, I'm like, this this cat, this cat can't be real. Let me look up the Let me look up I think it's a boggy or something. You remember the game we played? Yeah, it's 1G. Shithead Tommy is AI generated. <laughs> He's real? Oh yeah? If Shithead Tommy's so real, then why don't you send him to my house right now? Hmm? Why don't you let me, um, pet shithead Tommy? <laughs> Little shapeshifter cat, yeah! First picture looks like he's taxidermied. <laughs> You're kinda right! This cat does not look alive. In like a really uncanny way, like going to a museum and seeing a taxidermied lion or something with the glass eyes, you're like, this creature was once living and walking around and real, but now it is just stationary in a museum, never to walk around again for me to look at. <laughs> and then here he looks photoshopped. And then, and then here, this isn't even like, I'm not sure this is the same cat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, please don't submit your taxidermied pets. <laughs> yeah, last picture does look like a shit post. Yeah, fire emoji to shithead told me there. Okay, next up we got Badger. One of my friends used to have a little dog called Badger. He was also a shithead. But this dog seems very sweet. Badger. Alright, let me add another tier here. I'm gonna call him Quarky. I feel like I'm giving everybody's pet like a, a new name. I shall call him Quarky. Did I also forget? I also forgot the image. 
I screenshotted so many images, but I guess a couple of them I just completely forgot to... to upload. There we go. He does look like a badger. Yeah! Very chill. Badger is very intelligent and has infinite en energy. Well, Quarky, I think, suits Badger perfectly. <laughs> baby tier? They're all baby tier. All of these scrungles can go under one. And that's baby tier. Baby tier. <laughs> Badger looks like he kind of mastered- he's a dog who mastered the art of faking that he had nothing to do with something and then There's a mess next to him. Yeah, like the innocent look. Meanwhile The camera it's, it's cropped. It's cropped, but you can't see there's like complete mass destruction to the right of Badger Karki is very accurate. I'm glad to hear it yeah, let me let me know how accurately you feel I described your pets. <laughs> Did I get the vibe correct? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Now we have Penny. She's very old and only has one eye. Also left a steaming pile of shit one time. Well, I had to watch her. Wonderful, thank you for that last part as well. Penny looks very sweet. I love old dogs so much. When their faces turn white and, like, their paws turn white. I don't know. Something about old dogs. They're just very, very kind creatures. Gentle souls. When playing catch, he will wait for you to try and pick up the ball and steal it right before you grab him. What a little bastard. <laughs> Oh, good night, Sid. Have a good sleep. May your animals be full of love. Yes. May your dreams be full of funny little animals. Pinpoint accuracy for ours, in my opinion. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> Old one-eyed Penny here. Let's see. Yeah, we're on Penny. Penny. Hmm. I have to like check if I've said this before already. Penny is a a plumbo. Pirate Terrier. Yeah, or get this dog an eye patch. Seriously. She looks so handsome with an eye patch. I'm not biased. May your dreams be full of puppy girls. Okay, may maybe, maybe, um. May your dreams not be a, a terrible nightmare. I really hope you don't see the hat man. It's okay, the hat man isn't real, he can't hurt you. As long as you take your Benadryl. Now we have Buster and King. Buster on the top, Buster looks like a Buster. In fact, I knew a beagle that looked just like Buster, also named Buster. Which was so funny because when I was young, I was like, Buster's a silly name for a a lady dog, but now that I'm an I'm I'm an adult, I'm like Buster is like the most perfect name you could call a female beetle. I don't know why having people names is so funny for pets, and then like when the people names disregard the dog's gender as well, because of course dogs don't have a concept of identity in that way, so it's even funnier to me. Buster is such a good beagle name, right? Every beagle should just be called Buster. 
Where did we put the squirrel? Under chonker. <laughs> animals with silly names are peak. Couldn't be my animals like Winston. Yeah, husky boy. Okay, let's add a couple of tiers below. First, we're gonna do Buster. Buster is Buster. Buster should be in the Buster tier. Because I feel like that is such a name well suited to this pet. My cat's not called Plastic Eater. Although she probably thinks that's her name with how much I yell it at her. Don't eat the plastic, Autumn. Don't eat the plastic. She probably thinks don't eat the plastic is her name. I call her that so much. Busters look like busters, right? Hannah's a good beagle name too. Buster Scruggs tier. <gasps> the Ballad of Buster Scruggs. Wait, you might be cooking. Scruggs. If you know, you know. And next we have King. This fellow right here. Hmm. Oh, I already said that one. Hmm. I'm talking to myself right now. <laughs> Crown emoji tier. Yeah, just like I start using emoticons now. I no longer can form a uh, language. Did I use... Did I, uh, did I call something a forp yet? No. In that case, Thorp. We got Scruggs and Florp. Heck yeah. Plumbo, Scruggs, Thorp. Next, we have Jesse. <laughs> oh, yeah. Puppies would do that. It's so funny. Because German Shepherd puppies look like full-grown German Shepherds to me. <laughs> so when I, I had a friend who had a German Shepherd puppy. And she was like, yeah. He's so destructive and like he destroys everything. But he's only a puppy, and I would be like, that's a puppy. That's a full-grown dog right there. <laughs> Jesse has this, uh, huh look. Yeah, huh? You say my name? The picture. Oh, yeah, I got, I got Jesse's picture here. Let me add in a row. Yeah, they do. They, they grow so quickly. King will also fight the cats, the other cats, so he can get attention. <laughs> jealous, jealous creature. When I was younger, we had a golden retriever and cats, and the golden retriever would get jealous of the cats getting attention, but he was also scared of the cats. So the cats would like, they would rub against our legs, and then they'd go try to rub against the dog, and the dog would like, he'd get scared. He'd get so scared. He'd get freaked out. It was very cute. That's not a German Shepherd. That's a Belgian Sheba. <laughs> well, your dog looks a bit like a German Shepherd to me. I didn't even... I've never heard of a Belgian Sheba and Sheba mix. That's cool. Well, together, I'm glad to find out that they do make a German Shepherd. Who knew? 
<laughs> Your dog has been diagnosed as a German Shepherd. It's, it reminds me... Not saying that this was your reaction at all, but that reminds me of this, like, the meme of what kind of cat is it? Orange. Like, dog owners versus cat owners. Hold on, let me... I can pull up the meme, I'll find it. I think it's very relevant. <laughs> what kind of cat breed is he? Orange. <laughs> I don't know. Like, truly, cats are just referred to by their coloration. It's like, what kind of breed of cat is that? I don't know, black cat? <laughs> Orange? Gray? I don't know, he's got- he's kind of tiger-striped. <laughs> Calling my dog John Fortnite if I get a 50 bomb? You would curse your dog to be called John Fortnite for the rest of its life? Wasn't that a Sarah Scribbles comic? I mean, the meme existed, I think, before the Sarah Scribbles comic, but the, the sentiment is there. Indeed, it is cat. <laughs> I get dog breeds wrong all the time as well. I wish, um, I, <laughs> I wish referring to dog breeds was as easy as cats, like, yeah, that's a brown dog. That's a brown dog with spots. <laughs> like, a beagle here is a floppy brown dog. Floppy-eared brown dog. The script door. Okay, the lovely Jesse shall be called. Hmm. I'm thinking, I'm getting Zoot. Like that's, the dog is looking over like a Zoot. Right here. Corp. Zoot? <laughs> Maybe I, I add an extra just to, just to drive home the point. Straight up zooted? Me when I'm zooted? If that's a zoot, then I'm a corngle. You are a corngle. Look in the mirror. You've always been a corngle. No way. Check again. Your balls are gone. Now look down and check again. They're back. Check for a third time. You'll see that there is only one. Look back again. They're back. No need to panic. <laughs> That sounds like a 100% fits, especially when she's tearing something up and you try to stop her. Zoot? She's running around. Zoot? Were you the one making that happen this whole time? <laughs> uh, someone post the embarrassed emoji for me. I can't, but that's me right now. Check again and now your balls are diamonds. I'm on a horse. <laughs> Yeah, I've just begun the chatter tier list. <laughs> Level Bobozo. This is this is the neighbor cat that visits you, right? 
Why did I say it like that? Look at this. Look at this lovable bozo. Also marshmallower. I really love it when people hold cats like this up the cameras. This has to be one of my favorite um, cat photo positions is someone holding a cat up to the camera and they're, they've got the dangle beans. They're like dangling. Their limbs are dangling like they can't do anything about it. <laughs> a little beggar for treats, but very polite about it. A sweet baby. Now this cat is baby girl. But we already have a El Bebe. Dangle beans, dear. A dangler. This this is a dangler. <laughs> yeah, get lifted, bozo. Tatter tier list. Can't wait to be the bottom rank. Yeah, you'd all be bottoms. Bottom rank. Except for that one person who would be a top rank. And you know who you are. Midest. <laughs> yeah, not, not my most graceful joke. This much is true. I'm sick, though. Today is not a day for grace and decorum. Look at this sleepy baby. I wouldn't even make that one. Well, uh, uh, you can't, uh, you can't unmake that joke. Go ahead, try to put it back in my mouth. I can't unsay it now. I was just asking for it. Mr. Schmuckles kind of vibe. Yeah, for sure. We already got a... I think... Don't I have a schmuckle? I got a schmunkle. Which is too close. Um, this is... Oh, I had something. But then it's vanished from my brain. The do you want to buy this cat stranger pose? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to buy this cat? Cat's so good, I screenshotted the cat twice. Hmm. Yeah, cat's so good, got a cat twice. Very polite. Like cat that loves treats and looks a little bit like a marshmallow. <laughs> Today, top chatter is a pebble outside the house. <laughs> Chat would find a way to get jealous of a rock. Scrunkle worthy. We already got a scrunkle though. And although this cat is a little scrunkular, they're also a little like corbular. Do I have a do I have a porb? I don't have a porb. Sometimes it just comes to you. Porb. You know what? I'm leaving the question mark. <laughs> There are no typos, just happy little accidents. If it's a porb? Porbular creature. It fits, it sits, it sits in the box. You know what, also going in baby tier, just cause I got an extra picture laying around. I ate the pebble. It's always hogging all the streamer's attention. Oh, <laughs> uh, crew, crew, it's okay. You you can all get a little bit of streamer time. Just because this pebble is my favorite, and I like to put little googly eyes on it and put a little rubber band around it and pretend it's wearing a belt, doesn't mean that you're any less of a of a person. Even though this pebble's way cooler than you. It <laughs> for Porb works.
orb. Bodhi wants a smooch. Mwah! <laughs> Kiss the pebble! You can't unkiss that pebble. I've already kissed it. It has... It has a belt! Guys, it's over! It's so over. And like, as soon as I like, glue a little sequin to it and pretend it's got a hat on, it's all over for you. Good typo. I thought you were genuinely confused. Okay. After the porp, we have the toothless creature. I mean, this cat does have teeth, but like the cat that looks identical to the hit dragon toothless. Who is also based off of a cat. Look at it. Look at this kitty! Look at him! He's he using that bag of chip as a pillow. Someone get this man's a actual pillow. Not literally toothless, but toothless energy. Especially this photo. Also a little bit of El Goblino in there as well. Sprinkled in. Just a little sprinkling. A little dusting of goblin. You're telling me you guys are here for the streamer's attention? I'm here because she's threatened my family. <laughs> Who untied you? Get back in the basement. Mods, mods, tie up the shatter again. They escaped. That came out of my hamster sand fund. I hope it was worth it. I know, this cat's so slick. Like, this cat looks like it could fit into, like, a little hole, like an octopus. I really like this photo. Chip good. Aw, uh, I'm glad you could drop in, Bing Bong. <laughs> Love this type of stream. <laughs> Whatever the hell this is. I guess you could call it artistic. And perhaps you could call it something else. Yeah, take care. Okay, add tier. Add rope. This slick creature. A cat slug. <laughs> a cat slug. A, a clug. A slug. A slug! Slug! Wait, no, this isn't the same cat. Did I? I didn't. I... You're going in the baby tier for now. Actually, no, you can go back down. I definitely screenshotted a lot of these. Did they just. Did they disappear? Did I delete them by accident somehow? Okay, got it. Slug cat, a slug. Look at this little man's with the bow tie. This tier list is sure inscrutable. It does what it says in the title. Look at this little man's wearing a bow tie. He looks so polite. Again, I wish my stupid idiot cat would let me put little objects on her, like little little articles of clothing, but no, she's gotta flop over whenever it happens and look at me with such a sad little face where I go, okay, fine, you're, I'll take the booties off. Jesus. Yeah, very charismatic. <laughs> it's grungleable. He looks like a secret agent? Yeah, his name would be James Bond if his name wasn't Toof. I feel like Toof could even be the tier that Toof is in. A distinguished little kitty. He looks like he's about to sell me a vacuum cleaner. 
Yeah, he's got the Riz cranked to the max. Into tier. <laughs> you know what? Tooth tier. Tooth goes in tooth. Tooth is tooth. Tooth. The way that Tooth's like body is bending here doesn't look comfortable or natural or right, but then again, cats are just they're like that. <laughs> Pico also does the clothing flop of despair. <laughs> yeah, I know it's a it's it's a pretty common cat thing. Have you seen those videos of people putting um <laughs> like tape on the side of their cats? Just like a piece of packing tape that can get off easily. But like as soon as the cat has that long piece of tape on their side, they just flop over onto it and they can't move. They're suddenly like paralyzed. Autumn also does the thing where if I get the scrunch of her neck, the rough of her neck, and I put it in a hair clip, <laughs> she will just she will just lie there. It paralyzes her. Like a hair clip I'd use to hold back my hair, and I just bloop, clip it onto her. <laughs> she falls over immediately. Looks like he's gonna ask for your ID, even though he already knows you don't have it. <laughs> this is whenever I go to like a liquor store. This this man is always here. I'm almost 30. Why are you asking for my ID? I do not look 19. He's about to ask for your cars about your car's extended warranty. <laughs> no comment. Well, now that you said no comment, I'm just inserting something worse. And how dare you say that to me, the thing that I just thought up about. We have Tooth. Slickest cat I've ever seen, so true. Oh, that was Tooth! That's, what, that's why I thought these were different cats. That is Tooth. That's also Tooth. Very good photo. I'm glad that you shared all of these two photos. They're spectacular. I will get it twisted. Toof's true nature. The, the teeth are out. Toof's got the teeth out. <laughs> Not so toothless after all. Yeah, more hamster, I agree. My old hamster, Jojo. Jojo's such a good hamster name. He lived in a naturally... He lived to the unnatural age of three without ever slowing down. The littlest man. This must be one of the smallest hamsters I've ever seen. Like, th this... This little guy I could accidentally devour. Just a little tidbit of goodness. Look at that creature. Look at that little guy. You can't even see him in there. He's just like a little piece of dust. Look at him drink water like that. that that's so... What a... <laughs> what a unique way to drink water. I would never lie down on my back and drink water. Ever. That's it. You're just asking to spill. I spill sitting upright. The only time I got carded, I was 28 and just said no thanks to the cashier because I... Thought she asked for my point guard or something. Yeah, it always throws me off whenever it happens. For sure. I'm like, I excuse me? Can you not see the, uh... <laughs> Can you not see the world-weary look in my eyes? Like, no 19-year-old is gonna have these bags. No 19-year-old is gonna have this soulless a look. <laughs> no 19-year-old should look this dead inside already. Yeah, here's my card. Shows gray hair. <laughs> I, I have a friend who went gray at 14, so that doesn't always work. I love this creature. This little... <gasps> this little Timbit! Not saying that I would eat Jojo, but Jojo does look like a Timbit. Or 
as you'd call in the US of A, donut holes. But that doesn't really roll off the tongue, does it? Timbit. He truly was a Timbit. <laughs> A little Timbit. A bitular creature. When I was young and dumb and turned 18, I went to buy cigarettes. <laughs> oh, oh no. I'm glad you quit. That's great to hear. And I was excited to get carded, but was disappointed when they didn't. Oh my goodness, society. Yeah, when I turned 19, I was also super excited to get carded. It felt like a rite of passage, and then I, I went to a restaurant, I was like, I'm 19 now. They never asked for an ID. They were like, great, here's a free beer. I was like, oh, oh. I could just be saying shit. <laughs> Salty sea dog. Yeah, I already, I teared your bugs. We got, we got clubber in the clubber tier. Um, smile and I thought that not Avi should go in the Avi tier for some reason. They just, I, for some reason, that name came to me in a dream. For no particular reason at all. But welcome, hello, hey boy. Yeah, your bugs rock. Like, those are some great bug pictures. One thing that never ceases to delight me is if someone sends me a picture of a cool bug that they found. Like, I will be accepting all unsolicited bug pictures for the rest of my life. The bee is not beating the Avi accusations. Nope. Neither is Avi. Whoa, didn't take you for a crazy person, Captain. What? You've been around for how long and you think I'm normal? Because you're right, I am normal. Yeah, I used to turn over rocks when I was just a kid. I spent hours in the garden just turning over rocks, looking at centipedes scurry away. Watching ant colonies grab their little larvae and try to scuttle back into their little ant holes. Looking for crickets and stuff. Poking bugs with sticks. Good times. Simpler times. I showed you my beetle. Please respond. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get carded all the time, but it's good that people, I guess, are doing their job. Even though I feel old enough and grizzled enough to not have to be carded. And I, like, I, I... I'm no, I'm no cop, so, like, if I see it happening, I'm not gonna say anything. But I see people that look like they, they're still in high school not getting carded, and then I'm like... But then why do they need to target me? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> I got like five salamanders yesterday. Oh, that's so cool. I would have gone just pog wild if we had salamanders in my locale of this planet. Because I used to... I used to think that I could just find them, but I live in Canada in a kind of cold area that is definitely not the right climate for salamanders. I used to go around poking at dead logs and be like, where's the salamanders? I'd get so excited if I ever saw like a toad. God, they sure don't make ant mounds like they used to. So true. She looks like she- No, I don't look like I'm in middle school. I look my age, I think. Seeing Chia from her debut to now, I will- I will forever have short-term memory loss and think, Whoa, who's this streamer? <laughs> who's this? She's wearing a different skin than usual. Hmm. None of this happens when you painted your nails black, Captain, because people are intimidated by cops. You're, you're actually very correct about that. None of this would happen when I had my nails painted black and I wore more black. People were much nicer to me in general as well, probably because they were afraid that I was going to cuss them out. 
I should do that again. I should paint my nails black again. Just no longer as like a, a because I think it's cool. Just so that people um, respect me a little bit more, including my crew. Worked at a gas station and the manager got upset that I wouldn't sell beer to the kid who had accidentally shown me his real ID the first time he came in. <laughs> what a what a what a bozo move of that kid. <laughs> Holy shit, I want to punch your manager. So bad. Well, I'm glad that you stuck to your own morals because you are morally correct. If you went on Reddit, am I the asshole? And you asked if you were the asshole for selling, for not selling beer to an underage kid who showed you his real ID, you, would, you wouldn't be the asshole. What can I say? It would be overwhelming. People would be like, why are you even posting this here? You're, you're like clearly in the right. Yeah, make them fear you. Make them respect you. Everybody chill till the goth girl starts speaking Latin. <laughs> now she is evil? What? A little guy like me evil? No, please don't, Captain. I'll be too scared. I won't even be able to type here. You're gonna be shaking at your keyboard. I'm just gonna be getting garbled messages sent to me. Everyone's gonna be too afraid because they can sense that I painted my nails black. The scariest person in the room. I try to be the scariest person in the room. <laughs> yeah, humans are pretty bad at telling age. But, like, Canada's... Canada's drinking laws are just like 19, even 18 some places. Like, you, you see a, you see a 19 year old, I'm sorry any 19 year olds in chat, but you look, you look baby. You look so young. And I, when I was 19, I thought I looked so old. And now I'm actually old and I'm like, I looked so young. <laughs> are the nails on your model black? Yeah, they are. It'll just be even more realistic. Maybe I'll make a black hair Chia edit. Do it! I'd love to see what I look like with black hair. Unless you're 19 and you go bald, you don't look 30. Yep. <laughs> no, I'm not nine years old. I'm I'm actually actually I'm two years old. <laughs> cause uh cause my uh, cause of the age of my channel. How long did hamsters live? Well what were we doing? We're about to look at a cute little spider is what we're doing. Look! Lucas the spider! Jumping spider by the name of Cha Cha! And her poster of Stray Kids! Look at... Look at Cha Cha! Jumping spiders are so oh well. Like, they have such big eyes. And they don't have like the freaky compound... I mean, I, they probably do have compound eyes, but they they look like boba. They look they look like they got boba eyes. And the fact that their eyes aren't set on their very backs makes them a lot less freaky. They are oh well, yeah, they're oh well, extra elbows in there. Who invited this baby to stream? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I'm probably older than you. Chia isn't a hamster though, Chia is a pirate hamster. They live way longer. Oh, thank goodness, I'm so glad to hear that. Here I was thinking that like, a pirate would maybe not give me a leg up in the age department since a lot of pirates would die of um, different circumstances. Scurvy, eaten by a whale, um, shot, drowned. Drowned, storms, probably eaten by shark, eaten by fish, big fish. Lots of ways a pirate can go. Yeah, the Royal Navy can get to you. Skirt, did I say scurvy? I hate spiders, but I love cute looking jumping spiders. Jumping spiders are just built different. Yeah. But that's due to violence, not old age. You can die violently at any time. That's true, yeah, I could be walking. 
on my way to school and just have a giant grand piano drop on my head. You never know. Okay, let's add a row. IRL anime jumping spiders. <laughs> They do kind of have big anime eyes, this is true. Yeah, I might have my latent rabies kicking. You never know, maybe I was bitten by a bat like a year ago. And it's about to just kick in any time. Yeah, comically of course, like if a piano dropped on my head, I'd of course have the keys. Replacing my teeth. And I'd have birds flying around my head and then I'd realize the birds were flying around my head and I'd go to swat them away and they'd fly away. Yeah, lots of ways for pirates to go. Don't jumping spiders have a unique ability to plan in three dimensions? I mean, that, that would make sense since they need depth perception. And they need to be able to plan a jump with depth perception. They're really agile too, like... Their maneuverability with the way that they jump. Like, I don't know. But it sounds like it could be. Fun fact, some jumping spiders eat other spiders. I know a lot of spiders, like, eat other spiders, including, like, their same species. It's a spider-eat-spider spider world out there. They- they are. Jumping spiders are cute. Jumping spider neurons can change between different types of neurons. So they can switch between pathing and navigation and visual comprehension. What the hell? Someone make the spider the president! Um, this- this spider? He is... Lucas... tier. And I- I think we are all in agreement. Yeah, they're surprisingly smart. I've read somewhere that they can even respond to their name being called. Yeah, I remember, um... Reading somewhere that spiders, pet spiders like tarantulas, can recognize their owners. Which is crazy to me. I don't know why. Spiders just seem so alien to us. With all those legs and eyeballs and... The way that they move, it's, it's kind of like... Alien creatures. Placing my jumping spider in sports mode to go faster. Shifting gears on my jumping spider. I'm in jump mode now. <laughs> I'd vote for a spider as president at this point. I would I would vote for a spider as prime minister. Just to see. I'd be like, yeah, they're you know, inflation taxes are going up or whatever, but like the prime minister looks real cute about it. Next up, we have Neighbor's Cat. She just screamed. She screamed. She's a screamer. Refuse to leave or move. And then, of course, her, her handlers came. I think the cat was just... I don't know. At that point, I think you're legally allowed to adopt someone else's cat. What a cutie though, another marshmallow creature, so so poofy, so rotund. Look at this fella. This also looks like a photoshopped, like weirdly photoshopped image, but none of these look taxidermy, thank goodness. If we vote for Cha Cha for president, she will be the first woman spider president. Whoa! <laughs> a first for women and a first for spiders. Chat, we gotta get Cha Cha elected. Yeah, so fluffy, big kitty. Veronica, hey boy! Yeah, very regal creature. Oh my god, Spinny, that's scary. 
We have a species of spider that sometimes makes their way into houses. But they used to freak me out when I was younger. It was called like a wolf spider. They'd get kind of big and they'd always carry their babies around on their backs. But you couldn't tell until it like burst into movement and the babies went flying everywhere. Terrifying. I once remember playing in the garden and I saw I saw a giant spider. I was like, why is its butt so big? And it's just, it was just sitting there. I was like, is it okay? So I poke it with a little twig to see if it's alive. And then just suddenly it bursts into a billion spiders. And I scream so loud. This creature shall henceforth be known as... Hmm. Hungular. No. Do we have a zeep? That might be too close to zoop. <laughs> I mean, spiders are like... To us, to humans, they're very strange. Like, they are little aliens with eyes. You're a little alien with... Little spider alien eyes. Yeah, if AI wasn't taking our jobs, it would definitely be spiders. Any scrungos? I think we got a scrungle. We got a dongus. I'm thinking maybe like a... A pongus. But is that too derivative of dongus? I'm calling this a bee's trigger. <laughs> I might be hungry. The royal dong is bee's trigger. The reality of horse feet is truly alien to me, so upsetting. Very true. If you've ever seen a horse skeleton, it just they they should not be built the way that they are, and yet here they are. We'll take it, Beast Turker. <laughs> You'll take it. This cat is looking at me like, "Can I has cheeseburger?" That's a heckin' dog over. Here. <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop before every zoomer either kills me or leaves. Oh, I dropped something. I swear, I'm one of you. I swear, I swear, I'm not. I'm not that old. I'm just a, like I'm just an older zoomer. How do you do, fellow kids? Master Pongus, the Royal Dongus. You know what, Master Pongus? This cat does seem like royalty. I'm allowed to, uh, I'm allowed to change my mind, right? I hope you stub your toe. <gasps> well, I hope you step on a Lego. I hope you put on fresh socks and you walk into your kitchen and step in a little kitchen puddle. And I hope that happens for the rest of your life and you can never have fresh socks, ever, without them being unmoistened. I hope when you flush, water splashes onto your balls every time. And you feel grossed out. I hope that... <laughs> I hope that every time you bite into an apple, it's just a little... A little... A little too... Uh, a, uh, a little... A little... A little too... Spongy. Just a bit too spongy. Never crisp again. Taking it too far? And I hope lightning strikes your house. And I hope your power goes out. No way, I hope you lose internet connection, but it shows that you got one bar. At all times, even though it's not connecting. True sadness is whenever there's splashback, exactly. Splashback always sucks. <laughs> Refer 
refers to Can I as Cheeseburger says I'm not old. <laughs> You'll never know. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm. Uh, maybe I'm young. Maybe I'm a billion years old. Sometimes I do feel like an alien just trying to fit in. I hope you have an okay day. Yeah, well, I hope you have a better than okay day. I hope it's actually kind of nice. But then I hope you get back and you try to fall asleep and you you feel like um, a little lump in your bed, bed sheets or something that turns out to be like a piece of dust that was bugging you. She has an old grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that old, I swear. Sometimes it sounds like it, but I, I'm like, my age still starts with a two. I don't think you're allowed to call yourself old until you until you at least get to the proper hag age. Next up, we have another unusual bet. This one is quite glorious, I must say. Let me just add row. After Master Pongus, we have Wilson. Look at this bird. This is a very good picture. I like the way you're clutching that bird. <laughs> That's a good bird. Look at that bird eat a banana. <gasps> uh, Canadian packaging spotted. Hem hoy, fellow Canuck. Um, you, you gonna go for a rip later? Maybe get some poutine? Chop a dart? Is my little potato. I'm in streamer mode. <gasps> oh, that's you, Sol! I'm in streamer mode. I didn't recognize your profile picture. <laughs> I only saw S. Did I wait? Did I take a picture of Wilson here? Maybe I didn't. Hold on. Grabbing picture of Wilson eating the banana because I think it's precious. And we have another bug. Okay, take a picture of bug. Gonna add those both to the list. There we go. Okay. Wilson, the green cheek conier. I hope I'm, I'm saying that correctly. He will tell everyone who asks that he's a cute little bird. Well, he's so right. He is a cute little bird, and he knows it. He also yells, I love you, for a sunflower seed. <gasps> I do that too! I'll say anything for a sunflower seed. What a precious boy. Yeah, very cute. That's, uh, that's so precious. I feel like if I had a bird that could speak i would just teach it swears i would be a terrible bear I, i'd be a terrible bird mom i just teach it to swear and then like eventually when the police need to find evidence it would definitely tattle on me <laughs> it would definitely snitch oops Okay. Wilson. Wilson seems like a... He seems... Like a... a, a Bungulon. No. I'm just thinking of aliens now. I think he's a... He's a wizard. Is 
Sometimes he's the one who asks Wilson is, and you're the one who has to respond with a cute little bird that's so cute! Look at that little guy fishing for attention. He's allowed though. He's allowed because he is adorable. Wilson is a destroyer of worlds. Don't say that about him. My gleeby DBS. I'm, I'm thinking... No. Maybe not, Wiz. Maybe... I'm gonna say Gleamish. This creature is Gleamish. The aliens in Voices of the Void sent her this tier list. <laughs> they told me to do it and they said that if... They said if I don't do this tier list, they're going to abduct my whole family and I'll never see them again. So here we are! I'm glad you're having a great time doing this. I'm definitely not under any sort of duress for the aliens to get this complete. Wilson is very burbly. Oh yeah. Gleamishly burbly, I must say. Can I get my cheer translator to come back? I have no clue what she's saying. Uh, ask the mods. It's hard to differentiate between pet categories and alien words. <laughs> Speaking that gleep glorp. Oh good, I was worried for a second. Yeah, I'm glad I could um, put your minds at ease. She had blinked twice if the aliens are holding you at gunpoint. <laughs> what? Aliens don't use guns, they use laser beams. Duh. I'm glad you you guys liked Wilson. We don't just like Wilson. I don't like Wilson at all. I love him. I love him a lot. Now, these two cats that I have here, I, I assume that they can only... They can only be the same cat. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I thought that this cat was different. Because it looked more like Wilson. But that that's a Wumbo. This cat, I don't know where this cat comes from, so baby. We have one more creature. Add row. The dragonfly. The Gerderm dragonfly. <laughs> you remember that as well, Chad? <laughs> I die for Wilson, me too. I die for Wilson. She's only winking! Yeah, you can't tell if I'm winking my other eye with the eye patch on. Oh, if I had a nickel snowfall for every time I heard that, I would have... Well, the fact that I would have a few nickels, I guess, is probably more nickels than necessary. But thank you. Okay, I'm calling Master Chief. To get you out of there, please call John Master Chief. Master Chief is gonna come rescue me and I'm gonna call him Master Queef and giggle and then he's just gonna leave me to die. Okay, this dragonfly. This adorable little bug. Hmm. I need a name fitting of an adorable little bug. Yeah, Captain wants to see bugs. Here's a dragonfly. I rescued from the grill of my car. I'm glad that you were able to rescue this, this little creature. Dragonflies can have a nasty bite though. We were taught to never try to catch them in our hands when we were kids, even though they seemed so catchable because they would bite you and it would bleed. Blorbo! That's so good! Blorbo. I completely agree. A fitting end, yeah. You could buy yourself a piece of gum with those nickels. Oh wait, inflation. Yeah, oh man. You didn't even consider the economic state of our current day, 2024. Freaked up that they still call penny candy penny candy when it's never been a penny. Well, maybe in the 1800s. But like, you can go, you could still go to a little convenience store here and buy quote-unquote penny candy. 
and it will cost you like a couple bucks. <laughs> <laughs> but it will still be called Penny Candy. I just think that's fucked up. Isn't it? Feeling Gorbert? Me too. I'm feeling a bit Gorbert. Any Gabagools? No, oh, this isn't... This isn't the Sopranos. I did see a dragonfly while taking pics of my birds, but I held back. Well, I'm glad you didn't grab it, because they could bite. Okay, let's check out our tier list. We got Glebe, Flimp, Scrungus, Glarnkle, Dungus, Schmunkle, El Goblino, Frongus, Glumbulus, Glumbulus, Yonner, Glumple, Flurmble, Bumbus, Wumbo, El Bebe, Sploogie, Clubber, Smile, Scrunkle, Flub, Harold, Avi, Chonker, Bronk, Splu, Flarkus, <laughs> BBB, Fleeb, Floof, Narp Narp, Bogey, Quarky, Plumbo, Scruggs, Forbes, Zoop, Horb, Tooth, Timbit, Lucas, Master Pongus, Gleamish, and Blurbo. And we have one last pet. Chat. What would you, and I'm allowing you to name me, what would you, what tier would you put me in? Since my crew calls me a Tamagotchi all the time. Bottom tier, that's it. I'm going all the way to the top. Is there a faster way to do this? F tier! <laughs> that's so rude! Tired, tired tier, that too. I'm sick. You, you, you gotta stop being mean to me. I'm sick. I'm gonna cry and then I'm gonna feel even more sick and it, it's gonna be your fault. Tamatir. Tam Tamagotchi. A Blimpus? I take Blimpus. La Goblina. <laughs> Gabagool. La Goblina. El Goblino and La Goblina. Partners in crime. Chia. Chat, is Chia top two or bottom two? <laughs> You're not legally um, obliged to respond to that. Anybody here? Dork? I'm not a whale penis. <laughs> Little biology joke for you. Can we place her in the common tier? Wow, it's all... These tiers are colored like this because they're all... Nobody, no one pet is better than the other pet. They're all unique and thus in their own tiers. Rizzler. So cute tier. How do you do, fellow Zoomers? Scrying is junior? <laughs> Implying that cringe is my senior? I mean... I guess with the way that... Turbo's age, perhaps. Okay, Rizzler. Um... AKA... Scrying is... Junior. AKA, um, uh, so cute. AKA, the Rizness. <laughs> La Goblina. AKA, I think there's another one. Stop putting peanuts. Blimpus. Blimpus. Do you have any sources for your descriptions? Um, scroll up. <laughs> F tier! I'm not putting that one down. Okay, fine. F tier is at the top though, isn't that, isn't that a little messed up? 
Gungaga? I hardly know her. <laughs> yeah. Gungaga, I'm somewhat of a gooner myself. Okay, there we go. Okay, Dinkledorf. I'm gonna be here forever. Dinkledorf. The F is for feeling yippee. Yeah, that exactly. You know, Gungaga? Yeah, that's a Final Fantasy 7. I never played it though, so I've just heard it flung around and that's like that's that's all I know. <laughs> Can we have a Tinkle Winky tier? Is that a tell to tell beep? And I think it's Tinky Winky. I'm pretty sure they go like Tinky Winky. Uh, 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 I don't, I don't remember. It's been ages since I watched Teletubbies. Is Teletubby still going? Do kids know what a Teletubby is, or has it been replaced by Coco Melon or something different? <laughs> I'm going to save <laughs> the tier list. I'm going to post it in the Discord in the same thread you posted your lovely animals into. Seven Ham Holly. You catch a lot of references. I do. I like, I'm like a reference sponge. I'll take in a lot of references even if I don't understand them and I'll try to weave them into my language. Dipsy, Lala, and Poe. I remember! I remember Poe was my favorite. Oh. Is that Autumn? <laughs> I had two younger sisters. That makes sense. <laughs> The Teletubbies is so old now, the baby son is a mother now. Well... I know you are, but what am I? Uh, I'm gonna go sleep. I'm gonna go sleep. I can no longer form sentences anymore. Thank you so much for coming to my inscrutable tier list. Um, thank you for being able to decipher my inscrutable... Um, language use. The reason I'm rushing is because Autumn is eating plastic right now. Yeah, check out Discord, check out Twitter if you want to see more. I will recover. I will take tomorrow to recover. I'm sure I'll feel better soon, or maybe I'll feel worse. I don't think I'm over the hump. I don't think this is as bad as it gets. I don't think my socks have been knocked off yet, but we'll see. I'll be back on Saturday for, um, whatever we do on Saturday. Thanks for the cathartic stream, Captain. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed the Inscrutable Pets tier list. Um, I will post the picture in the Discord. Thank you for rating our pets. Thank you for posting your lovely pets. They're all beautiful 10 out of 10s. And I hope I could I could do them justice with the tears I've given them. I hope it suits them. Thanks for the stream. Thank you for being here. Stay tuned for the raid. Awesome. Don't stop. Oh my god, she's biting it. Goodbye, chat. Goodbye.